All right, guys, we are fucking live. What's going on today? We have Toasty in the room. She will unmute when she's ready to talk. Um, we're doing a little different today, so hopefully there's no echo. Hopefully you can hear Toasty. She's about to talk in a second, so let us know that you hear both of us. But yeah. Can you guys hear me? It's showing up on my desktop audio, so they should be able to hear you. Cool. Cool. What a morning. <laughs> fucking right like wow. Channy, can you do this on my days off instead of when i'm working <laughs> my full-time job that i pay my bills with but don't worry guys it's just performance art performance <laughs> art i'm gonna use that from now on oh hell like, yeah every time she claims that my fibro i mean like that's just performance art my Sorry. fibro <laughs> that kind of sounded funny <laughs> oh man so how I you know what I, it's funny I don't remember giving quasi oh yeah I do never mind I was like when did I give him quasi a mod Ooh, I was somebody's... I was when he guess uh, he or she I can't remember sorry don't don't hate me I can't remember but it's when I think they guessed my favorite color that's why I gave it to him I was gonna say they're about to get their wrench taken away <laughs> <laughs> wow no way to job shame that's funny. Uh, tell the truth, Jules. There's only one of you in the stream. Yes, it's only one of us. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yes. Multiple personalities. Yeah. They aren't that good of actors. True. Facts. <laughs> Fifty shades of Jules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I can't wait till Lubis comes in and goes, it's the same person. Quasi same steals person. his wrenches. He probably does. Yeah, you did guess my favorite color. That's why you got a wrench. Now everybody's going to be like, I'm going to guess your favorite color. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a boy and a girl. Cool. Love that for you. And Shani's stream today. <laughs> you want to know how I got blocked? <laughs> how did you get asked, blocked? Somebody asked her what her favorite color was, and she was like, oh, I love pink. And I was like, nope, she likes her favorite color is white and matches her hood. <laughs> I got banned real quick after that. I, I must have missed that because, you know, I was busy working. Rev was ob obviously busy spitting, so. Yes, apparently. My stalker sent me here. Cool. I love that for you, Billy. Hope you're feeling better. Hi, Mandy. Just waiting for, you know, a little bit more folks to come in the chat before we get started. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Nick. I know, I I don't think you, unless you pull up the uh, stream test, do you? I don't know if you can see the chat. I have it on my phone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Jules made me do things. <laughs> <laughs> Jules uh, has that, uh, that mind control that Drag has. I think I am. I, it, it's like the Yoshi control, I guess. Hi, Tara. Boo, bitches. Hey. Yes, I worked about 10 to, 10 to 11 hours today. Not 12, but 10 to 11. It was fun. Loved it for me. I wish I knew how to quit. What do you want to quit? At least you're not e-begging. E-beggars. Mm-hmm. Damn. Well, you know, if you start a membership on your channel, like get to a thousand subs, start a membership, charge people fifty dollars a month to do naughty videos. I Ew, mean, I think it seems like what everybody's doing on the YouTube streets these days. I want to know who paid her for a naughty video. Probably hmm. nobody. <laughs> hey, Michael B. Petty, nice to see you here. What's up? Oh, that that reminds me, I need to do something really quick on my phone. Do, 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 do. Let me turn my sound down so whenever I click my video, it's not going to replay it back at me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, guys. There's a lot that went on this morning. It's been fun. It's been real. But it hasn't been real fun. Um... Hi, Bobby. Just 
So basically today, guys, we're going to be playing some of the... I know you guys saw it earlier on drag stream. We are going to be playing some of this video um, of the fight this morning. And the other reason why I want to play this video is that I do think this is a serious topic. Because, um, you know, both of them are very violent towards each other. But this is also a good time to bring up the DMs that I keep telling y'all about and compare what she is saying in these videos versus what she has said to me in chat or in DMs. Yeah. <laughs> I have, Michael B. Petty said, I have so much I want to say about this shit Shani and Rev are doing, but I also don't want to put more eyes on their shit because, yeah, that's exactly what she wants. You have the wrench power now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what she wants. That's why she went after Callie. That's why she goes after Beauty Beauty, Amberlynn Reed. Um, whoever she sees that has more subscribers than her, she tries to latch on. That's exactly what she tries to do. And um, I'll, I'll let Toasty answer this after me. But I think the whole purpose of her making this video today was to make her the victim in this scenario she didn't care um what he was going to say to her he knew she knew that he was going to go off off the rails so yeah. i think she was making it backfired on her because she's a piece of shit and she, you can obviously tell he she was trying to get a reaction out of him definitely yeah i i agree i think um that it's twofold i think that she was purposely poking him like she normally does but i think that as time has gone on and as they have less and less money, what I've noticed is that she will poke him and poke him and poke him to get a reaction out of him so that she can play the victim on her YouTube channel. And it's almost like she's leaving little breadcrumbs so that eventually she can create this narrative like she did with Chris, like she's done with uh, Doug and every other person that she's ever lived with, her family, other friends and siblings where she sort of creates this narrative that they are abusive, she's the victim, you know, ultimate victim Olympics going on, right? But I think it's also more than that. I think that she um, she also secretly, I think, wants him to, um, like, strike her or do something so that she can get him arrested. And I think that it's a combination of retaliation because she really doesn't like him but also it's more more views, more victims. So in other words, um, I'm kind of rambling, but essentially what I think she's doing is I think she is setting him up so that she can use whatever happens for sympathy and views. And he is so wrapped up in delusions and wet brain and being manipulated and a bunch of other things that he doesn't even realize that she's trying to get him arrested just like she did back in May of 2019. I I totally agree with you. I feel like this video is very important um, for people to see, you know. Some people don't know who Shani is. Some people are just learning to know who Shani is. Um, and some people have been here for years. So I feel like at some point something has to give. And I do not feel like this is a home that children should be in by any means. Um, and they need to separate because they're not good for each other. I don't rev going from these highest of highs and then dropping all the way down and saying, oh, I love you, I love you, to Shani is very dysfunctional. Very. Yeah. Well, my thing is the second that you, um, m you know, threaten to kill children, <laughs> uh, that's a uh, game over for me. Like, get out. Seriously, I, I don't, it speaks a lot to her, mm, her, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. It really speaks a lot about her that uh, the first thing she says after all that happened was, oh, I'm going to play a video game. Yeah. Like there was no thought about how this was affecting her kids. And then the five hour stream she did today after this. And she was like, um, oh, it's just performance art. It's all fake. It's like, bitch, what? Are all you right. kidding me? I agree with you. Yeah, 
Um, that, that's... When she brings her kids into the picture, I really don't want... I, like, I mute it because I don't really want to hear her her bringing her kids in because they don't know what happened. Like, Reb this morning is denying that he even said that, which we all know what he said. And, of course, the you know, the, the they keep calling the oldest in. The oldest is... His room is not at the floor they're at. He's below... He's probably, like, what, the third floor? He's, I mean, the um, first floor? Um, he's the floor below them. Exactly. So, and the reason why I'm yeah. saying this is because I don't think they heard it. Maybe the youngest heard it, but I don't think he heard the conversation this morning. But, yeah. Yeah. If their mouth is moving, they're lying. Pretty much, pretty much. Um... And it's crazy, too, because they'll lie about big stuff like this, where he will just boldface lie to the camera and be like, nope, I never said that. I never threatened to kill anyone. It's like, yes, you did. That's performance art. <laughs> but they'll also lie about small, in in insignificant things that don't even really matter. Like... Uh, the mukbang that he did mm -hmm. eating that whole whatever the fuck like that rice bowl and mm -hmm. all that stuff in that mukbang at one point he picks up a skewer of the, the fruit kebabs that we all saw that she bought already pre-cut pre-made it's one of those little trays basically you just pull the plastic off and put it on the counter for like a cookout or whatever you don't have to actually cook or do anything to it well he was eating one of those and he started eating it, and he was like, oh, did you make this? <laughs> exactly. And she lies and says, yes, I made that. And that's a, that's a complete lie. Like, it's demonstrably false, right? But then he picks up that lie, accepts it, and then repeats it back and says, wow, you're such a good cook. You know how to, you know, cut all of these things. This is, this is delicious. And then he, he repeats the lie back to the chat that she is the one who made the fruit kebab. And I'm just like, I was sitting there thinking about that. That is the most petty thing I have ever heard someone lie about. Like, what, what did they gain by lying about that? Absolutely nothing. And, it's, and it just kind of shows how second nature lying is to them, that they're going to lie about something that small and dumb. So, of course, they're going to lie about them claiming to try to kill somebody. I mean, it's just like, oh, gosh, I don't even know what to say at this point, to be honest with you. <laughs> I love cutting up watermelon. I don't like watermelon, but I love cutting it up. It's kind of relaxing. Um, I honestly forgot what I was going to say. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, oh, I would like to say, though, uh, Fafatog did make me this beautiful thing. Um, he made me a Flavor Town animation for the, uh, donations. So I did in my link, you see the, the link for the StreamYard, um, uh, donations thing. Underneath it, it shows you what, like, the cost of everything that you can see and what you get. Just to give you guys a heads up, but Fafatog put that together really fast, and it's so funny. It's the Flavor Town. And uh, Shani might go live again tonight. If she does, we're probably more than likely going to, you know, go over there and see what she's doing. Um, but we're going to try to get through this pretty fast, because I really don't want to spend a bunch of time listening to them pretty much abuse each other. Because I'm sure you've all already heard it. But yeah, let me go ahead and put that up on my screen. Oh yeah, fix it really quick. Alright, Toasty, whenever you're ready to play this video, I am ready. Cool. My mouse, I think, needs a new battery. Fuck your mouse! Thank you the Dogecoin, because I know ultimately that's gonna make some good money for us. Can you guys hear it? Because 
we were doing stocks before. It's showing up on my uh, desktop, so well, it should yeah, be. Well, I know. I did. Fine. I was helping. Anyway. Yeah. Well, you're doing nothing now, so. Yeah, so shut the fuck up. Oh. Uh, I, wow. I was taking pause care it. of a man. What's that? I, I said pause it. Um, she's, like, this is what I'm talking about. She's just so bold to be like, so shut the fuck up. Like, she, th this whole argument pretty much started over Mother's Day money. And then uh, he's already seems like he's frustrated with her, but it's just the same old bullshit. She she says something and, and then she thinks she's always right, and then they disagree, and then he gets pissed off because he's immature. Yeah, and it must be maddening that every time you go to talk, you're you're being talked over, and interrupted. Like if you just sort of when you watch streams that Shani's done, whether it's a year from now or um, a year ago or a yesterday if just watch the streams and you watch where he starts to talk or ask her a question or, or say something and she just completely cuts him off it like I don't know how he sits there and just like takes that in <laughs> I think that's a oh, that's a whoa. big part of the rage what did I accidentally what did I just do Oh, I got off StreamYards. It was like, oh, fuck me. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was done. I was just saying, it's like, that's probably a huge part of his anger. Is like, she just, just constantly disrespecting him. And to be clear, he is just as abusive to her as she is to him. Like, neither one of them are innocent <laughs> at all. So I'm not taking sides because they're both pieces of shit. And they both deserve each other. But, exactly. Wow. But yeah, if somebody interrupted me constantly, talking over me, never let me get a word in, like, I would be, yeah, that's a time bomb. Who could barely take care of himself no, you and didn't. two kids. Oh. That's not true. Oh, really? That's not true. Really? I didn't take care of you at all. You took me care of me for one year when I had wet friends. That's what I was talking That's about. It. Yeah. And then we were separated because of the fucking cops. Not wrong at all. Still. I was still doing everything myself. Not true. Whatever. I don't even get credit for taking care of you for no, a fucking year. Yeah. 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 For, for, uh, By the way, you guys know how she took care of him. So before I found out about them, I had no idea what wet brand was and never heard of it before. But basically, when you have somebody like Rev who was a like complete drunk, like not just a regular drunk, but long time hardcore alcoholic. They can't just quit cold turkey because it makes their brain go to mush. It, it literally gives them brain damage. And so you're supposed to go to a rehab and they slowly wean you off of it so it doesn't give you brain damage. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, give you a uh, wet brain. I don't know the exact medical term, but it's basically called wet brain. Well, Dr. Shani thinks she knows everything because she's convinced herself that she's a nurse, that she has medical training. And so she told him, you just need to quit cold turkey. And so for like a year, and this was before I even knew they existed, but I've seen the videos. For a year, um, he basically was incoherent. He was like, uh, I don't even know. He was just laying there. Couldn't really consent to anything. Couldn't talk. Couldn't walk. He was just kind of a vegetable. So that's why it's really hilarious to me that she's like, all these things that I did for you, bitch, you gave him brain damage because you're too prideful to take him to a hospital. <laughs> I mean, again, he has a right to be angry about that. I would be. I kept you alive. 
But I kept you alive. See, this is this is it. I'm not. No one appreciates anything I do for them. Kept me alive. No one appreciates anything I, I do for them. I'm such a victim. No one appreciates anything I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really thinking it's Why? Because you're dishonest and you go on How am I being dishonest? How am I being dishonest? I You just admitted I took care of you. How am I gossiping? You just admitted I was taking care of you for a year. Yeah sick of being with this thing who's doing nothing but financially supporting you when you don't do anything yeah maybe it's caitlin from exclusive yeah shout out to caitlin shout out to, oh man i should someone needs to put a sock like that <laughs> shayla caitlin from exclusive <laughs> oh my gosh knowing shani it's probably just some random person that he didn't actually do anything with. Well, it's like, I imagined it's like one of those texts and they just put the name in there like, hey, this is Caitlyn. And it's like when the, you know, when you people voted and you would get those, t if you signed up for certain things, you get those texts. It was like, hey, don't forget to vote. This is, this is so-and-so. Oh yeah. Like a bot. <laughs> My goodness. You can go be with her. Oh, and pause really quick. Also, she did the same thing afterwards with me and Rev. Like, she thinks that I want to sleep with Rev, and I don't. Um, she's just, like, so insecure, and she wants to basically keep him by himself so he won't leave. Yeah. I think that if he were to actually go to a hospital and get actual mental health um, and see doctors and kind of work through his problems, I think that that scares her to death because she would lose control. You know, he would start to, you know, see things a little clearer. And I think that scares her. I'm a psycho. Yeah, while I'm financially supporting everything and working my ass off trying to do There's everything no I can. Money coming in. None. I have to supporting wait till the 21st. Supporting what? Yes, I've been getting money in here and putting it in the bills and paying them. Yeah, you're oh, really? <laughs> really? Because I think the people who give me money know that I'm paying the bills. G-Man doesn't pay. G-Man pays your no, bills. No, doesn't. He didn't pay those bills last month. He just gave us the money last week. No, it wasn't. It came from Maria. I'm a whore now? I'm a whore now. You're a whore I'm a whore in this. Did you say pause it? No, I just said, I'm a whore now. <laughs> <laughs> Donate to the hoe fund today. Yeehaw. So, you're a whore. You're a whore, whore. Gary. <laughs> Disgusted now. Yeah. Yeah. I took care of you. Spent $700,000. That's what you did. Oh, really? All these Red games you bought, all this ass. fucking stupid Facts. technology you don't need, you bought. Yeah, I sat on my ass to play for the closet. PET Ham has just donated mm. $5. <laughs> this is a test. <laughs> Shani, shut up. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Go ahead. Yikes! I it, they just sent someone just sent the thing. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I see it on the thing. Okay. Sorry, she can't. She hold on and pause it really quick. Toasty can't hear the things. That's why I'm. If you hear me say pause it really loud, that's why. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oopsies. Queen. 
I did everything. Oh, you yeah. You sat on your ass, did nothing for three years. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah, okay, Jason. Okay, Jason. That's not true, but <coughs> keep saying it. I know, keep saying it. It's eventually going to come true, just like Joseph Gorbels, right? I don't even know what that was. What, what? did you do? What? Is, who is that? Do you know who that is? Uh-uh. Also, really quick on the chat, so I'd like to I'd like to tell everybody that Reb decided to buy a thousand dollar leather jacket, a Nintendo leather jacket that's not even worth a thousand dollars. Yep. And Channy did bitch about it, so they both spent that money oh, on themselves. Well, and he's about to blame the kids, as we already know, but oh. So you're just complaining about me not doing nothing while you did nothing, and then you don't see the hypocrisy in that. Well, I am doing oh. that. No, am I? Do you pause that really quick? <laughs> and see, this is what I'm talking about when I say Rev likes to claim those as his kids, but then he's quick to say, you should be working for your kids. Like if mm -hmm. if I if I was in that situation, which I don't want to be Shanny, so let let me not put myself in that situation. But you know what I mean. If I was in the situation where I had kids, and I either remarried or whatever, I would hope that person would would consider them their kids, not be like, oh, those are your kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like we said in our, in other one of our streams, it's like he likes the idea of playing dad. But he doesn't actually care about those kids. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm trying my best. You're making nothing. It's pathetic. Oh. And I'm trying my best. What are you making? Nothing. How many jobs have you looked for? None. You haven't done anything. I've been looking for jobs. I've pointed jobs out to you even. At least I'm trying. And I wasn't sitting on my ass for three years. I was taking care of you while you were. Oh, I agree, it. Michael B. Petty. She should be taking care of her kids. As a single, yep. as a single mother before she met Jason, uh, she should have always been stable enough for her children. I don't understand why she's not. She's, I mean, she says her mother's a shitty mother. She's a shitty mother, mother too. So I don't know. She's been looking totally for agree. a job for him. Mm-hmm. Hold on, keep it like this for a second. I need to do something with my screens, okay? And I know she didn't just say that she has not been sitting on her ass for three years. Girl. Really? <laughs> uh, your YouTube channel would say otherwise. Uh, liar, hater, that's photoshopped. Mm-hmm. Deep faked. Yep, 100%. <laughs> Jules made me say that. I did. I made her say it. She's under yep. my mind control, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same person. A hundred percent confirmed. I think he's having an affair with me with this girl named Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin. Shout out to Caitlin. <laughs> Sup, Caitlin? I think he is because he keeps saying he wants to leave me even though I'm working so hard guys she's working so hard Aww. she's making weird concoctions of food on her cooktop that's she's working so hard guys Aww. she does this for all of your entertainment Folks, this is this is performance art like you've never seen. This girl, give her an Oscar. And it's not good enough. Nothing I do is good enough for anyone. <laughs>
We don't have any more money to waste. Where are you going? No, you can't spend the money on gas. We don't have the money. I can't get any more. No one's donating. We didn't get any money. We got 20 yesterday. I got 20. You got 20. Well, good for you. The only this reason is like some really bad acting. Yeah. Like, master, I got 20. Please don't kick me. Well, good for you. Oh, I know, like, he was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, some of the responses in here are funny, but, you know, some of them aren't, because he, Jason is a piece of shit as yeah. well, and he can definitely ca catch his hands in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. 100%. Any day of the week. Yep, him and his lunch lady hips. Because my hands definitely don't speak bitch. Mm-mm. Nope, but his wrists do. Hey. Hey. Oh no, someone flavor town. Okay. Concern citizen CC has just donated five dollars. I just tried to explain Rev and Shanny for Christ in. Oh no, I didn't read all of it. Okay, how let me read it really quick. Sorry. It said, from Concerned Citizen, I just tried to explain Rev, Rev and Shanny for Christ and was told that would ruin their high to watch happier stuff. So naturally, I'm here. Fuck my life. They just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for the $5. Um, yeah, it's really hard to explain these little cows to people who don't get it. Um, I have a great time torturing people with it, though. So. Yeah. They just don't understand this little tiny part of the world. Yeah, sir, may I have some more? That's exactly how she sounds. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that she watches movies and picks up these patterns of, like, like sayings, I guess you can say. No, I think that's true. Because um, back in 2020, she started going, she started doing these streams where she was calling herself a divergent. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is she talking about? And like, I have screenshots of like community tab posts, tweets. She said it a couple of times in some live streams. And I was like, why does she keep saying that? And then I realized there was a new movie that came out called Divergent. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that she was saying were almost direct quotes from that movie. And I've noticed over time as she will do that, she'll say something and people are like, wow, that happened to you. And it turns out that it's just a scene from a movie or she heard somebody else tell their story and then she basically steals that person's story and adds it to her collection of, quote, childhood trauma. And it's just, it's bizarre because sometimes people will come back around and be like, why is she telling that story? That's the story that I told her about my childhood. And it's just, it's it's crazy how she like, like concocts these these stories and then claims that they happen to her it's it's delusional all right i am going to show my first oh, screenshot yeah. really quick cool. so yeah. oh, she's gonna go further into detail in this video about how rev um i think maybe it was the last video i can't really remember i just watched too much shanny today i know that um but this is a screenshot that she sent me when they were having another fight similar to this one, but just in private. Um, I hope everybody can see that. Okay. So let me stop. Huh? Can we stop sharing, or are they gonna see it? They can see this. Okay. Can, you can double check on your phone really quick, but I'm pretty sure they can see that. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so basically, I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Hold on, just give me a second. Sorry, guys, just moving it around. Anywho, there we go. That's not so zoom zoomed in. Okay. Okay, so this is a screenshot where he she talks about him. Um, basically, he's upset because he's looking at porn instead of going to find a job like she says and then and also she says hold on hold on one second okay 
sorry guys. Anyway, so she also says, um, he's rude to everybody except the chicks he flirts with, tries to turn me into a monster, and makes me look crazy. Fuck him. No, he does it when I'm trying to earn money for the household. So basically, she's saying that when she's live streaming and you don't see Rev, he is definitely in the bathroom watching porn. That's what she's saying. And basically that he won't find a job. And in this one, she talks about how he doesn't want to find a job. Pretty much. So, that's an interesting screenshot to show. We're going to get back over here. Oh, fuck. I think this is also why he's really mad at her right now. Is that he, he just found out that she's been talking shit about him for weeks. After she told him that it wasn't true. And she can try to bullshit everybody and say, oh, it's photoshopped, it's it's fake, blah, blah, blah. But he knows it's true. And she knows it's true. And everybody else knows it's true. Because they, they have a brain. They can see that that's legitimate DMs. <laughs> so I think that's also why he's kind of upset with her right now. 100%. Yeah. It's built with banger. Go ahead and play it. Okay. She's live. Oh, well, I'm trying to keep this place going, so can you help me? Okay, wait. Wait, wait. Toasty. Hold on. Pause that. Apparently yeah. she's live, so can you please? I'm going to put it black screen. Please just go ahead and move to that video she's live on. Sure. So we can go ahead and get that really quick. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me know, Tara. And just go to the beginning. I know that they're already live. Okay. Hi, Todd. Sorry. Do you folks. want me to keep the chat up too? Um, you can. Um, I I'll I'll fit it on my screen. Okay. Oh, why is it? Hold on. We're just pulling up Channy's live right now, guys. Just give us a second. I don't know why it's their stream is buffering. I think their internet's really terrible. Okay, let me see if I can go back. Oh, gross. Okay, I'm gonna share a screen. Okay. Y'all have fun with uh, his teeth. Yeah. Hope y'all didn't eat before this. Hope y'all didn't eat. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Um, let me wait. Don't play it yet. Is it always at the beginning? Yeah, it's always the beginning. Okay. I'm probably not gonna be able to fit the chat in there, so just whatever. Yeah, I full screened it. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. This is the live video right now. We're just starting from the beginning. Yikes. Okay, sorry. Guys, you know this late. I never tried the live feature, so I just did a live quick and. Uh... So, uh, Shani asked me to make a video basically just telling you, you know, she, she can't do it, man. She needs a break. She needs a break. Her body's saying like, what are you doing to me, man? That's literally what's going on. So, uh, the, we, we gotta just take a breath. I'm sure she, I think she's going to come back tomorrow and do a cooking show for you. Oh, that's so, a, that's a great uh, break. Called it. <laughs> She's just mad that she didn't get the response she wanted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I called it. Because earlier today when she was like, I don't want to cook. I mean, I'm in pain. I was like, yep, she's not going to cook anything. Exactly. She's going to make She's gonna make him get on camera and make any excuses for her. Yeah, Todd said, this guy threatened to kill a child less than 12, 12 hours ago. Fuck him. Not. Like, Todd, that's what I said. He can catch these yep. hands in Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Any day of the week. Yeah, there's no excuse for that. My hair is so thin. There's so many things wrong with this picture. I don't even know where to begin. Like, literally everything. Yeah, four people. All right. Twelve people. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. But yeah, Shani's feeling rough. Like uh, the the last few days have been pretty rough for her, and and it's like, 
getting in the mode of doing a cooking show and everything. It's all cool and everything, right? Yeah, thanks, Serene. We're doing good. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow she'll probably be back. She's going to try the, uh, to do the breakfast, uh, uh, casserole for you. That's what it looks like it's going to be. But, uh, yeah, she just needed a break guys. Like it, it's work. It's work. Yeah. Arguing in front of your kids. It's so much work. Oh my gosh. She needs a break now, guys. She's, she's really pathetic. She's a poor excuse for a fucking mother. Oh, I got so many words. Got so many words. Well, I mean, at this point, I, I stand by when I say my cats are treated better than her children. 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. Channy probably doesn't even take her kids to go to the dentist to get their teeth cleaned every year. They probably not. don't get physicals. I mean, they have to be updated on their vaccines because, well, I, don't, I shouldn't have said that word, but whatever. Um, because you're, you're not allowed to do certain grades without them. But yeah. And, and she is disabled, guys. I mean, she really is. X for doubt. Hi, Alicia Marie. So, um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to come on and say, but I thought I'd try the live feature because I never tried it before, you know. Um, but guys, you know, we love you. The, for the people that are Oh lovers, my god, that's funny. Hate. Secular pointed out, does Reb shave his armpits? He doesn't have hair under his armpits. What? Maybe he's just, like, he doesn't have hair on his body at all, though. Hmm. Shout out to, uh, Split li Lenny right there. <laughs> <laughs> Splitting like the Red Sea. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I wonder if she hit him again. Look at my nose. <laughs> Look at my eye. You see my nose? Going to hell. No worries. They have the best one-liners. They Ugh. do. Especially Rev. Beautiful. Especially Rev. Haters out there, we love you, man. What happened, but the boys and you got, uh, should take a day together as a family and relax. Now, don't worry about any of that, because there's no problem with... Fuck the boys. It was just, uh, it was performance. Yeah, art, fuck them. Let it go. Anyway, don't listen to haters and listen to their channels, because I'm going to tell you what happens. They take every single clip they can, because they record, obsessively record, every single thing she does. Wait, pause. So... Me and Toasty just sitting here live streaming it. <laughs> We're so yeah. obsessed. Oh my We're god, so Rev. We're just so obsessed with you. Your haters made you clean your bathroom. We're fucking trolls. Yep. Also, there's this great piece of technology called downloaders. Oh, various shit. kinds. It literally takes me 20 seconds to download one of your streams. It's not really a huge part of my day. So, and the reason why there's so many people archiving y'all's videos now, you want to know why? Oh, wait. He donated $25. Thank you, D. I really appreciate that. But you want to know why people download your stuff now, Jason? It's because you guys lie. Mm-hmm. You say things and do things, and then 24 hours later, you're like, nope, didn't say that. In this case, it was two hours later, and you're claiming that you didn't say it. <laughs> That's why. Oh, they're just going to take those clips and repeat them over and over and over again and twist them and all that. It's really stupid. So there's no problem with the family. We're doing all right. The boys are cool. Good to see you too, the, the Canadian Lan Lannister. Okay. Good to see you. But uh, Shani sends her love. What's going to be in the breakfast casserole? Hey, Shani, what's in the breakfast Wait, casserole? Pause. It's going to be cat hair, um, Shani spit. Skin um, flakes. Skin flakes, Rev's hair. Fuzz um, from her jacket. Yes. Um, what else? 
Um, uh, raw egg. Condensed milk, because you know mm -hmm. we have to use that shit for everything. Yeah, salmonella. Ugh, little, exactly. You gotta have a dash of that in there. Uh, let's see. Thoughts and prayers. Yep. Yes. Yes. Lots of thoughts. Some prayers. <laughs> I hate Rub so much. <laughs> I want to say same, but I don't know. Hmm. Shani's secret ingredient, racism. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she saves up her G's, folks, because she's got to say her favorite word. Nailed her. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're going to make it with the stuff I got? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's going to be... Uh, Shani, shut up. You're supposed to be taking a break, you whore. <laughs> she's got to be sitting on the end of the bed telling them what to do. Jason, tell, tell them right now that I'm fine. Jason. You better make them mean it. You better apologize, Do Jason. Don't, don't make me look like the, the abuser. We all know that you're the abuser. Delete that. Do it again. No cigarettes for you. <laughs> don't make me sl get sloppy. Vegan sausage. Uh, eggs. Uh, uh, reef right bean. Are you doing it that way? No, not the refried. All right, you'll just find out when she makes it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know the recipe, so that's her thing, you know? But yeah, this is a live stream from the toilet, man. What do you want? This is my spot. You need you to go get it. a job. Toilet talks with Rev. Yikes. Damn. Somebody go yeah. triple dog dare this man to get a job. He's going to have to do it at that point. I think he's too lazy. I always say, I, I, you can't refuse a triple dog dare. <laughs> Just saying. He's a punk. He'll take your money and be like, guys, I can't get a job because it's COVID. Guys, uh, I'm not made for this. My mom didn't teach me how to get a job, so I never knew. <laughs> uh... Oh, yes, Shannon. I can just see it now. I'm going to work at McDonald's. Do you think they're going to hire me? Huh, Shannon? Huh? My favorite is, I told my guidance counselor, like, this fucking bitch, um, I wasn't going to college because she set me up to be a failure, so I wrote my own shitty novel, and now it's on Amazon for a dollar. Mm-hmm. And it has, like, three reviews, one of which is the terrible editor that don't know how to spell. He totally did a review using a fake name. Yep. Sounds legit. 100%, dude. Recorded. You can you can do much better than I can do much better than what? I am excited. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, the, I mean that's huh, I'm sorry. I would I'd give you all the ingredients, chips in the night. I'd give you all the ingredients, but it's it's her recipe. Uh, no, nothing happened. I don't know why, but his chin beard bothers me. It, like, curls out. Um, because it looks like pube hair. Just saying. Oh, man. I just want to fight him. I want to fight looking at him. Like, it makes me want to fight him. Yeah. <sighs> it's a very punchable face. Very you know, punchable. It's... Very punchable. It's his talent. Yay. Rick Zilla says, I'm going live in five minutes. Well, guys, half my audience, don't go. Maria's world Next. is saying Rev Run. I, I don't know. <laughs> is this performance art? We continue for the channel. Yeah, I'm here. What about your mental health, Jason? Well, not it's not good, but that's okay. I'm, that's I'm okay. Making... I'll suffer. Yeah. Jeez. I'm making it. You know, I'm just a little nervous about the future and stuff like that. And, they, you know, things will come together. You know, I'm a, I am was a spoiled, uh, not even upper middle class. I was a spoiled middle, middle class kid. And I got my mom's money when she passed on. And I just got to figure things out. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 
the shade in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, damn Todd, you gotta do him like that. <laughs> wow, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. <laughs> Dear Dr. Beverly. Hi Jason, hope you and your family are doing well. I miss what happened this morning. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. Okay, cool. Thanks, MT. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, the YouTube channel Chills that Shani's watching right now. Mm. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's this weird channel. He's It's a big channel. He's got this uh, very unique voice. But he talks about like um, like supernatural aliens and stuff like that. Yeah. Like hidden videos and stuff. Anyway, that's just. Anyway. What? How being with you made her gay? Well, Chris, Duncan, that's not the case. Uh, it was pretty much Chris cheating on her that made her feel that way, not being with me. Nope. Nope. That's a lie. Nope. She's still attracted to men. She's just lying to you. She's not attracted to you. That's yeah. a great stop. Love when we pick our nose on screen. That's also one of his uh, specialties. Mm. Mm. Rev strikes me as the kid that picks his boogers and eats it. Well. Didn't need that uh, mental picture in my head, but thanks. Well, he probably also, like, puts <laughs> his finger... <laughs> <laughs> Puts his fingers in his ass and smells it. That's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, honey, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Call that a. I was going to say something really mean. Well, mm. Honey, hold mm. honey, I'm. I, uh, it doesn't smell too bad yet. I don't need to take a shower. Dead ass. <laughs> oh, so many words. So many words. It, it helps? Okay. Don't disregard your feelings. No, I'm fine. Don't don't worry about me, Carly. I'm fine. Ships in the night. I, I made those black forest brownies recipe Shani uh, makes. They were delicious. <laughs> yeah, man. Todd's comment. Oh, black brownies <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me dude smells like truffles <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> was that box the black forest no you did it special that's right the black it was, it was boxed okay well it was still Oh my god, she's nope. still talking hey, about real. box brownies. Hey, hey, nobody <laughs> fucking cares. Le literally nobody. Who the fuck cares? I like box brownies. Like, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, like that's... No nobody cares. Nobody's complaining about that. Yeah, the fam's here. I, we are the Shan fam. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. Go watch Dragnaut. Shanny recorded it all. <laughs> okay, well, go watch Dragnaut. Shanny recorded it all. Drag Maria. these nuts. Maria's world saying that in your chat room. Brooke nut. No, it's it's a member. She's a member. She should have mods. She should have mods. Let's see. No. No, it isn't a mod one. But they're subscribed. They have one of your emblems, though. Oh, you, like, would you stop, guys, with the impersonation? Hey, Adele, what's up? I don't get this. I myself was raised in a family that was well off, and I was also quite uh, spoiled. I understand how you feel, uh, and it takes a lot of time and work to change. People need to understand. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate you very, very much. 
for that, actually. Thank you <laughs> for understanding. Um, I complain because I my life has always been good, and I love Shanny, and and um, I I need to work on myself. I do. There's no doubt about that. I know that I have issues, massive ones that. I never really dealt with because my dad dying. Oh my big... god, boo fucking who? Shut the fuck up. That happened so long ago. Get the fuck over it. Jesus, you're a grown ass fucking man, dude. You keep Bruh. saying oh, my dad died. My a lot of people in the chat probably have somebody close to them that have died, and they're not sitting here fucking spitting on their wives and and saying you're a whore and blah blah. blah. You need to get that fucking sorted out quickly asap because I'm tired of fucking hearing about it. Okay. So, Jason, that was 30 years ago that your father died. I'm sure it was traumatic. But in 30 years, you have not made it a priority to get help for that. So, I'm not, I don't think that you actually care. You just use it as an excuse, as a crutch to fall back on for your shitty behavior. Just like Shannon, Shannon does the same shit. My mom pulled my arms out of my sockets. <laughs> Which didn't happen, but... Calm down, it's Slinky. Just <laughs> sure, okay. My mom tried to drown me. Bitch, what? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't see how she thinks she remembers stuff when she was two. I don't even know how to go about dealing with it, to be honest with you, which is why I'm going to get therapy because I'm not anti-therapy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. He said, I need to work on myself. My cat died when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. How many times, guys, have we heard him say, I'm going to get therapy, guys. I'm going to work on myself. And it never happens. My I don't Sims believe... character died. I'm devastated. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Tito. It's okay. Now you can, like, do really terrible things and threaten to kill people, and you can just use that as an excuse. Damn, Quasi. My dad tried to kill me by pushing me into a fire pit, then left the family. Rep can get over his dad dying. <laughs> Big fucking yikes, my dude. Yikes. Not one of these ableist Republicans. Like I'm not like that. Uh, I believe in socialized health care. Even I believe in. Look, they made a profit out of health care with with health insurance. It's disgusting. Health care should be free for everyone. Uh, yeah, therapy will be great. Who dat? You know, I I totally. I'm for it. You know. Von Helton freaks out. He's like, you can't say I, I need therapy to take my kids. No, it's not true, Von. They'll just help you, bro. Because you got anger like me. You got anger issues, too. Yeah, by 100%. I know. <laughs> Agree, it, baby Jane. She does choose to protect Rev, Rev over her sons. 100%. Mm-hmm. That is very true. Because if you think about it, if Jason was in her life and it was just her and the kids... The, the manipulation and the gaslighting will go to her kids. Right now, she focuses on Rev. Yeah. That's why she's not, like, a, she is mentally abusive to the children. But you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. feel like if it was just them, she would definitely be hitting. I tend to agree. I, I do. And I'm sure she's, she's done it before, so. She's got to get the, you know, the payoff somewhere. Mm-hmm. it when my brother died oh bless you who that see see everybody has something that happens that they need a little help it does happen my mom died and i just isolated myself completely i why you know. in that video do i why are they twisting me into the abuser in that oh my but god because you are an abuser yeah <laughs> so that's what that's... i'm talking about though it's just like she made that video simply to make her the victim so she now she's pissed off because she doesn't look like the victim. She looks like a part of the problem, which is the other abuser in the situation. Mm -hmm. And she thought everybody was going to be like, oh, my God, Channy, let me give you money. Oh, my God, Channy. 
Yeah, she's done this so many times. Um, online and IRL. And it's like she assumes that her audience or people who are going to watch her are stupid. Yep. Like, don't do that. <laughs> the average person is going to see through your bullshit. They know that you're lying. They can, you don't have to tell them what to think. They can watch it and make up their own mind. And the vast majority of the people, like 99.999% of the people are coming to the same conclusion that they're both abusive. So I don't know why she thinks that somehow she's going to pull what she pulled this morning and she's going to come out looking like the innocent victim in this scenario. It's, it's crazy how delusional she is. Not abusing neither one of either person abused. I didn't abuse did. anybody either. So you're equating yourself to a similar case as Vaughn? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I think we probably have a similar story. He's <laughs> my he's a mama's boy. Therapy more than you know, Rev. Mm. Mm. You and Vaughn are both bitches. Yep. Who deserve to be punched in the balls. In 20 years, this this is Rev 20 years. I mean, this is um, Vaughn 20 years ago. Yep, I agree with you. There's a lot of parallels with their life, for sure. Well, and I think it's so funny. He goes, yeah, I spit, I spit in, um, not on her, but near her. I'm like, you know, spitting in her direction is assault. That's why he tries to backpedal. Oh, well, it's just, you know, I didn't really spit out her. It's fake. Okay. He has helped me a lot, and not every therapist works for every person. It takes a while for you to find the right therapist for you. Well, Joseph Birchgold, exactly. I would agree. I'm going to try it. Hopefully, I get a home run with the first one. I'm in therapy right now, being abused as a child. Bless you, Alicia Marie. Two dice dragons. Caught twice if you need help. Coughed. Oh, my God. Don't fuck yourself. <laughs> no. Don't fucking do that. Like, that's that earns that. Oh, because wow. Oh. You banned that person. Aw. Aw. We have to have a safe space, guys. Aw. You can't hurt my feelings. Don't worry. You can come over to my chat, and you can speak whatever you want to speak. This is why they're not making any money. This is why all they have are hate watchers. It's mostly oh, socks. 100%. Yeah. Like, you can't just ban everybody. <laughs> like, you will kill your channel. You, you make these little jokes, and it don't you understand that it, it fuels that? Do you get what I'm saying? It fuels these things that people say. Thank you, Alicia yeah, Murray. Me out. Oh, this oh, sounds like when she got arrested. <laughs> Why am I, Why am I arrested? <laughs> Sorry. You go ahead. I was going to say the same thing you said. Oh, man. Why am I getting arrested? He hit me. Sorry, ma'am. We're going to take you. Uh, well, I don't want to press any charges. Sorry. In the state of Colorado, uh, dom dis domestic dispute is an uh, automatic uh, arrest. What? Why isn't he getting arrested? Fuck my kids that are sleeping inside. Why isn't he getting arrested? Mm -hmm. We both need to go to jail. This is MK Ultra, by the way. <laughs> MK Ultra. Mm -hmm. Targeted citizen. Yeah, if there's any. Why am I the bad guy? You're not. If there's any bad guy, it's me. That's definitely true. Where is the missus? She's she's on there, the bed. She's she's trying she her. Move. She can't move, guys. Her legs. Wait, pause. Up. She said she can't move. Shout out to Fat Dog. I spit on her. It was fake spit. I I See, went I told you. like that. There... It was fake spit, guys. Wow. Well, I never would ever think to fake spit at somebody. So. Mm. 
me. How insulting that they think that we're this stupid. <laughs> exactly. Fake spit. Get the fuck out of here. There was nothing in my mouth. I'm telling you, you getting first into therapy is a joke. When you need mental help and support, it takes months to fully get in. Uh, but once you do, it's extremely worth it. Keep your head up. Thank you, Serene. Carrie H. Hi, Rev. Please tell Shani I say hello. Carrie H. says hello. Uh, we love Shani and Rev. Thank you, Houdat. We love you. Hi, uh, Hey, Billy Ann. Rev, what's your favorite meal Shani's made for you? Uh, <laughs> all of them. That's an honest answer. Five thumbs up, 80 watching. Thank you, guys. Rev's a cool guy. Five People thumbs up, 80 watching. That's such a great ratio, Rev. <laughs> such a... We 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 now know that you are so great in stocks and investments now. Mm hmm He's so good in math. Very. Just ah, oh, excellent. Thank you, Ernest. He and this the Shan famine here. After not having enough cigarettes doesn't help. Yeah, that's true, Ernest. Thank you. Oh, she's having her kids Thank come you. in the room to do shit for her because she can't get out of bed because she's a lazy fat bitch. My goodness. I I hate the way that she treats her kids. <clears throat> it makes me mad. Like, really angry. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, hang on. So you don't even know how to... We shall... Uh, been in your situation. I know how exactly how Shani feels. It's great support to you also. Yeah, Shani's amazing. She is. Hi. What's up, uh, Barbara Shannon? Okay, you guys got the deal. Uh, just a pause button on the cooking videos. Aww. It's in the night. She loves you too. Peace out, guys. I gotta go. Love y'all. Gotta go before she beats me again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ow, fuck. Are you gonna what are you gonna put back on the other video? Yeah. <clears throat> Let me get back to it. Whoops. Okay. There you go. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh. Oh, I think I need a new mouse. <clears throat> it like locks up sometimes. Shout out to Toasty's mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to this. I'm going to probably... Okay, you can go ahead and play. Okay. Put me some money here. You haven't made what? money for one month of rent. Not one month. Well, I so just we've got been monetized. Here, and we have been here for a year and a half. I just got You've monetized. You've done nothing. What have you done? I gotta send here, you... Fucking bitch! You're gonna hit me now? Yeah. Call the cops. I want out of this relationship. What are you gonna do, Jason? You don't even have a job. And you're gonna waste money on gas? And let me guess, you're gonna come to me for the gas money and the cigarette money and all the money you've been needing, like you've been doing. All the most of the money went to your fucking cigarettes anyway. Yes, yeah, six dollars a day times thirty. He goes through a whole pack a day. That's times fucking 30. disgusting. I would put it right here and pull that fucking trigger. And you'd laugh and smile. Well, at least I'd go somewhere where I'm appreciated. Yeah, right. You don't do shit for anyone but yourself. Don't yourself. You spend all my money. I spend all you your spend money? spend all of my fucking money. How? What did I spend my With money on? piece of shit children. Really? That break shit. And we had to move 15 times. You spent it. Yeah. What about all these games and all this shit? You yeah, dollars. yeah. What about all the fu the big fucking car I told I spent, you not to buy? I spent a thousand dollars, fucking cunt. A thousand dollars on calling my me names. Stop bringing up stuff that's mine, and it was my money. <sighs> yeah.
You know what? <laughs> Shame on both of you. Y'all fucking deserve each other. Doing this with the kids in the room next door. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Joel, say something. <clears throat> Jules, you're hey guys, I'm having pizza in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not! You're bringing it up, stupid! No, the game, you fucking whore! You're the one who's saying I'm spending the 700000 when it's literally you spending all the money! No! What did I spend the money on? Fucking whore! What did I spend Spending the money on? my money. What did I spend the money on? Feeding your kids. Oh, food. And your fat ass. So food. Fucking so food. Fat ass. So, who's Caitlyn from Exclusive? Caitlyn is a fucking woman that took my name when COVID first started because she had to call me to get in there. Asshole. You fucking asshole. Piece of shit. So you spit on me too. Yeah. I guess that was the uh, the fake spit. <laughs> so apparently it wasn't anybody. He needed to get into a building for something and somebody had to text him or he had to text somebody to get in. That was literally it. Damn, you fucking whore. That's wow. Damn, roast him. And think about this. Like, here you have a guy who has just threatened to kill you and your children. So instead of de-escalating the situation and then leaving for the sake of your children, right? <laughs> she sits there and continues to antagonize him. I, I cannot. Like, I, I think she gets joy out of it. You can kind of see it on her face. Like, almost like she's <clears throat> smirking, but not smirking. Yeah. Because I think in this moment, she really believes in that delusional head of hers that she's going to get a ton of views. She's going to get YouTube famous. She's going to make a lot of money. And she gets to play victim. And everybody's going to like rush to her defense from the evil rev. To me, in my opinion, that's what that face looks like right now. Hundred percent confirmed. Doctor Roxo is stalking me. Yes, it is Seven Eleven Pizza, and don't fucking judge me for that. <laughs> don't be a fucking hater. I was craving it. Okay, it's good. Just to correct everybody. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> After you fucked me yesterday. Yeah. This is my favorite. Wait, my pause it. This is my favorite part. Can you just go back to a second? Yeah. I yeah. love this part. <laughs> this is actually pretty. Um. Anyway, I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I could rip my fucking thing off after it being in you. Yeah. It's sterile and disgusting after being in you. <laughs> wow. Who the fuck would want to fuck me after that? Wow. It's true. Wow. That's very fucking true. Do you realize how abusive you sound? I don't care. I don't care! So, okay, I spent $700,000 on food. Nothing expensive or anything. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Rock, so, he's like, I got that shit on your word. It's fucking good. I don't know what pizza you had. <laughs> Mine was delicious. Oh, and yeah, I like pineapples and pizza if anybody wants to cancel me in the chat. Oh, you're one of those people? I Yeah, it actually, I don't order it often, but I've had it. And it's not too bad. I like it. Ew. Nope. We can't be friends anymore. Canceled. Canceled.
Why did you get canceled? I said I liked pineapples on pizza. Get out. Back in my day. Sorry. <laughs> Jules, penny candy. Penny candy. Oh, uh, what? 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 Oh, I'm sorry I had to get and clothes. Makeup. You told me to buy that you makeup. You told me to buy it. Fuck you. <laughs> the Jeffree Star makeup. <laughs> Sephora, and I'll get you makeup. I want to spoil you. Well, I'm not doing anything but working my ass off, okay? Yeah, I am. I am. While you're threatening and calling me names. Yeah, right. Well, at least I'm trying to make money. I like you. At least I'm trying to help. Something with my family, unlike you. I probably am gonna die, Bye. Jason. Bye. <laughs> um. Oh R.I.P. to the missing fan blade. Don't know what happened there. Um. um also, people, it's mixed reviews in the chat. Some people are like, ew, pineapple on pizza. And then some people are just like, oh my god, love you. Um, uh, Dr. Roxo, thank you for roasting me. I, I really appreciate it. Um, he doesn't like pineapples on pizza, by the way. See, that's my, kind of, that's my kind of person right there. Damn, we're really arguing about this. And Rub's over here like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Sorry. Well, you know what you have to do now, Jules? Now you have to sit on your toilet and you have to apologize to your audience for putting pineapple on your pizza. And you better do it right or I'm going to make you do it again. You got that? You guys are going to make me literally post a video <laughs> at 1 in the morning and say, guys, I like pineapple on pizza. I'm canceled. <laughs> Y'all are just haters. Haters. Pineapple, pineapple haters need to be banned. Okay, Toasty's gonna be banned. <laughs> I'm gonna sue you for $50,000. You should not be allowed to eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are just... Oh, y'all are going at each other in the chat. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. We have caused a civil war in the chat. We have. Mm. Literally. And expecting me to be in the video too with you. I am done with you. We are not together. Wait, wait, but pause it. This is when you cue the uh, Taylor Swift song. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. We <sighs> are never, ever getting back together. That's what we should... I'm, I'm going to make that edit I later. I mean, to be fair though... She posted that community post where she's essentially volunteering him without his consent or even knowledge to be part of naughty videos. That's kind of weird. Oh my god, now everybody's demanding a toilet apology. <laughs> he said, I need a toilet video apology now. You made me buy a 7-Eleven <laughs> pizza with your drag Sith powers. <laughs> Pineapple don't belong on no pizza. Sorry about your luck, haters. Jealous. Thank shots. you. Thank you. If you hate pineapple and pizza, you probably hate Santa Claus. <laughs> See, Jello Shots knows what's up. See, you can put Doritos. Like, we can take the Cobes route and put some Doritos on that. Will you put pineapple on there? Nope. Throw it in the trash. Oh, Wilson. Wilson, we're standing together. Clove pizza? <laughs> Clove pizza? What is... No. Oh, man. No. I think... Listen. I honestly think that if I'm... I like brick oven pizzas. Those are my favorite. But like I told... Like, I, I think I had this conversation yesterday. Um, is that you really have to go to a restaurant to get that. It's not like you get any fast food ones, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, But those are my favorite. And I love, like, barbecue chicken pizzas. 
barbecue chicken. Um, yeah, that's good. I love that's when they good. put like um, I forgot what kind of cheese it is. I just, and now I'm gonna punch myself because now I don't remember. We got some Yum. high stand for toast in the chat. Mm -hmm. Margarita pizza, that's really good. The basil and the mozzarella. Ah, that's basic bitch shit. Oh, no, it's good. That's like one of my favorite. But I like a deep dish outside of that. I don't like, I deep, like deep dish. dish. I, don't, I mm. don't know why. I just don't like really thick crust. It's good. Well, you can put cheese in it. Oh, that's, that's true. Really good. I, I kind of like cheese crust, but I'm really picky about like like Domino's and Papa John's. There's just something about their sauce that just kind of makes me like, oh. Um, Jules, you're picky about everything. I know. I'm a very, just by the way, if nobody knows me in this chat, I am a very picky eater. My diet consists of Chick-fil-A. And nothing else. And nothing else. <laughs> Pretty much. I am, what it, hold on, let me look it up really quick. I know we're sidetracked, mm -mm. but it's okay, because fuck these people. Um, See, guys, I'm trying to get her to try a spicy chicken from Popeye's. Yes, we that need to do the Popeye's jam. thing. And we need yes. to get with Monty and ask him when we're going to do the. I've never had Popeye's chicken in my life. Um, mm -mm. And I'm not, I, I'm going to be very honest. I'm very white, so I'm not very into spicy things. Um, so I will try the spicy one, but I am going to get a regular one, too, to try first. That way, you know, it's not going to over... Over, Popeyes uh, are bust. Popeyes way better, way better. Um, I am a Chick Fil A one signature member there, so I'm the highest tier rewards thing. And that's my, white people speak my for uh, lifetime rewards. points earned. It, and I've had been a member since 2016, so my lifetime points earned are 25,640 points. There's something wrong with you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Jonathan Green, we're not talking about that in the chat. Ugh, white people. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm white, Jules. Go to the, the spouse, <laughs> spicy room. I don't know. I just can't. It's all good. Ketchup is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I've never had poutine I'm before. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make money. Do you want me to not make money? Oh, Jason? pause it really quick. I would like to say, since Mandy reminded me in the chat, today is Charlie Gold's birthday. Oh, that's right. So if you guys want in the chat to say happy birthday to Charlie Gold, that would be beautiful. Look, Shani, Charlie, Shani and Rev left you this this birthday present today. That's, that's yes. what they did. It was... You know, an hour and 28 minutes of lols. You Pretty know, just much. for you. This is way better than a card. Way better. Way better. Happy birthday, Charlie Gold, by the way. I stand. <laughs> like... I don't want to be anywhere around you. Why? I didn't do anything to you, Jason. I wake up six in the morning to you bitching on the phone to people and telling people you're pimping yourself out. No, that's not what I was saying. I said I needed support. That's a lie. She was doing that. Like, <laughs> she did a community tab post about it. What are you talking about? I'm disgusted. I said I needed financial support. How is that disgusting? Yeah, right. It's no different from what you do. Good. You can't wait to get rid of me. Good. Everyone can't get wait to get rid of me. Ugh, I'm a victim. Ugh. I'll never have any support or love from anyone. I'll just constantly be hurt by people. Constantly be threatened. This is the best performance art ever. Constantly be called names. And I'm just stuck here on YouTube trying to make a fucking coin. And then be told how fucking much I suck for trying to make a fucking coin when no one in this house will do anything. 
Meanwhile, she also will not get a job. I do all the cleaning. I do all the cooking. I do. I just fucking. I pay the fucking bills. I do everything I fucking get, and I've been doing it for years. He admit I took care of him when he had wet brain, and then he turns and says, "I did nothing." I'm not good enough for anyone, and it sucks because I tried my hardest. To do everything for everyone. Because that's all I do is everything for everyone. I never do anything for myself. I never do anything for myself. <laughs> wow. It's just lie on top of lie on top of lie. Wow. <laughs> that whole thing was one big fat lie. Yep. Yeah. I, I saw something that Nick said in the chat. Hold on. I think he said he had 14,000 points. See, you're on the road. You're on the road. Oh. What happened? Oh, good news, everybody. Um, So, shout out to uh, a special person who's probably not watching this, but um, a special person nonetheless that have had their kids taken away 12 times by CPS, who currently does not have their kids with them right now because they are just as bad as a, as a parent as Shani. Um, thanks for flagging that video down, but it actually turns out uh, it was a false flag. My video is gonna be reinstated so, uh, sorry about your luck, hater. Sorry about your luck, hater. Sorry about your luck. I told you I was gonna make a video about you. Twelve timing, bitch. Try again. Try again. Hmm. Bitches be salty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Next time, think twice before you become a culture vulture and start claiming cultures that you don't come from spouting racist ideology spouting misinformation about slavery mm, try again try again it's really gonna complain for me getting eight hundred dollars worth of makeup when he told me to and clothes and food and, and say that's the reason why we have no money without ever looking into all the fucking stupid shit he buys why do you need $800 worth of makeup and you still look like a dusty crusty bitch it's crazy because they both spent that money like both of them oh yeah 100% you know how many times that she spent like you know there was one time where she spent, I think, like $1,200 on Jeffree Star stuff. Like, I, sorry, but I'm not one of those people that spends that kind of money on makeup. <laughs> like, I don't have that kind of extra income to spend $1,200 in one day just on makeup. No shade on anybody else, but I don't know. I. It's just, it's amazing to me all the time. They The Torrid Halls the Walmart halls, the Best Buy halls, um, how many times they went to these very expensive restaurants in the state where they live. So many things that they spent their money on and they they could have easily lived a very like upper middle class oh, lifestyle 100%. 100%. for like 20 years on that money. Insanity. I do think that he lost some of his money into stocks because he doesn't know how to use them properly. Um, and then the rest of them, they fucked it away. I don't know how, because it's not like they uh, have anything to show for it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, also, I keep forgetting this part, too. They keep getting in trouble with the law. Think about how many times since 2018 when they got together. I think they got together in, like, March 2018. How many times has the two of them been arrested, been on probation, mm -hmm. had to do court-ordered therapy, community service, um, restitution, 
hit and run, domestic violence. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And think about all that money they spent on um, lawyers and court fees. That's where a lot of their money went to. Because that, that shit adds up. Everything I get is practical. And has reason. I don't... You're just mean. Also, pause really You're quick. Just just... Um, and just by the way, uh, Charlie Gold and Michael E. Petty, I hope... Flavor Town. Tito Kanu has just donated $5. I don't remember this Did episode your mic cut out? of Roseanne, but it's great. Oh my god, no, someone do donated. Uh, five. Oh. Thank you, Tito. Sorry, I should have said something. Uh, thank you, Tito, for donating the $5. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry. Toasty can't hear it. Um, and my I bad, forgot yeah. what I was saying. Oh, I was going to say, um, Michael B. Petty and Charlie Gold, I hope you know that uh, Shandy's going to be salty as fuck here in my chat, and I live for it. Yes, it's and delicious. She, she is going to be salty as fuck that you guys are even, like, everybody in the chat's even donating. Mm hmm. She pocket watches all oh, of us. 100%. And I guarantee you, <laughs> just since I've been live streaming for the, what, past week, right? Yeah. I probably have made more money than she has since she's been monetized. Mm hmm. Which is pretty sad. Yeah, all pretty. the people that review her. All the people that have made videos about her get more views and make more money than she has in 13 years on YouTube. A hundred percent. And I, and I like to say this, Shani, is that we make your videos entertaining and be for people to be able to sit through. Yeah. You know, you are just a fucking crazy bitch on the internet who thinks that you're going to get money out of being, um, controversial or saying what you're saying start doing these fucking live stream fights uh fights and you know you're just trying to get views by this video by the way oh michael b petty says you can bring me on whenever i have thoughts and opinions oh my god i mean he can come on right now if he wants to i'm fine with that you can come on right now um i can dm you the if, if just let me know Oh, it's Charlie Gold wants to come on too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. If you guys, I will go on Twitter. I have both of you on Twitter, so I will. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my screen black so not everybody gets to see. Sorry. Oop, lol suits. She's gonna sue all of us, guys. Oh, I can't wait to get in this lol suit. I don't know. I didn't want to. Didn't want to interrupt your night, Charlie. If you were doing something. Oh, someone donated. Native something. American Ranch donated one dollar. Native American Ranch is the original flavor town. <laughs> Thank you, Native American Ranch. Native Amer <laughs> Do you want to know what it said? It said Native American Ranch is the original flavor town. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeehaw. If okay, I'm gonna, that reference. I'll link y'all. I'll send it to your DMs. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm like freezing. I'm sorry. If y'all don't know the reference to the Native Ranch, um, I think this was back. I think it was like September of 2020. Shani and Rev did a mukbang where they went to this really expensive, like boutique type uh, restaurant. And it's like an American restaurant with a little bit of Tex Mex. Oh, okay. Flavor Town. Hold on one second. Okay. Todd Malakoy has just donated $5. Rev has very acidic spit. He was just trying to burn the moles off of Shani's face. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Uh, Todd said, Rev has very acidic spit. He was just trying to burn the moles off Shani's face. <laughs> All right, Charlie and uh, Michael, I sent that uh, link over to you. Over on Twitter. <clears throat> guys, y'all are, we're gonna, we're gonna trigger her tonight, Ooh. guys. If anybody in the chat isn't blocked or if they have an email, go on and let her know. Let <laughs> her know that this is going on because I want her to be pissed. Mm hmm. But yeah, they were eating this. It was basically tech, Tex Mex and American food, just sort of hodgepodge of stuff. Well, the name of the restaurant was like Native Foods, but what they meant was that it, all of it was clean, organic foods and there was nothing processed. But they claimed it was Native American food, as in indigenous food. 
And so they, they legit did this whole live stream um, and they were claiming that it was uh, native food. And she picked up this gigantic thing of ranch dip and was like, look guys, it's native ranch. They make the best ranch. And it's been like this joke ever since. So that's why people Debbie like, Elliott donated you know, $10. say the whole native ranch thing. Shani bought all the makeup, but forgot the soap. Oh my God. Thank you, Debbie Elliott. I really appreciate it. Whew. Gosh, sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, Toasty. I'm so sorry. No, I was done. I was done. I just want to make sure people understood why. Like, they're not being racist to, to me. They're just, that's a joke. Oh like, I'm God. cool with Jules, it. Jules, pimp donated $1. <laughs> I have to explain in case people don't understand. After this. <laughs> Jules pimp donated a dollar. Thank you. <laughs> it said you better have my money after this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are great. Okay, and I saw Yada say something. Jules doesn't allow black folks on her channel, just like the kids. Oh, jeez, oh. Yado. <laughs> Yado, you know I love you. Okay, we have somebody who just jumped in the room. It's Charlie, and then Michael B. Petty jumped in too. All right. Add you and add you. How are you guys doing tonight? Pretty good. How about oh, you? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm just being a bitch, you know. Love that. <laughs> Here for that. Understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say so I've been watching you both for probably a good while. I know Jules, you've kind of just started the whole like YouTube game, but I've been watching Bert Coast videos for a while now too. And I enjoy your guys' mm -hmm. sense of humor. Thank you. So that's. <laughs> That's that's what keeps me going because as I love the petty, so I can never get yeah. enough petty. Well, I, I would like to say I actually started watching Michael, um, Michael and Zachary, because I actually started off with the Amber Lynn thing, and unfortunately I went down this rabbit hole, mm. and <laughs> so I used to watch <laughs> your videos and I'm like, oh my god, I love your sense of humor, and then you know of course people are like in their feelings about it. I'm like. And even in my bio on my YouTube, it says, if your feelings, if you feel like your feelings are being hurt, log the fuck off, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. And it's I from mean, that... I know that's what I do. It's that I simple. I just and keep it moving. Yeah. Okay. I don't really have, I, it's, I mean, I don't know. There's been like, I don't really want to get into all that right now. But like, <laughs> it's just like, um, I don't know. It's like if you if you're that bothered, then I don't know. Stay bothered about it. And make your videos. I really don't care. It's not going to change my opinion on anything. So yeah, I agree. I mean, my opinions are my opinions. But I've had so many thoughts on Shani. I feel I won't go crazy on here because, like, obviously, I don't want like you guys to get like a bunch of shit. But obviously, we know I know about her because she came on here and started saying racist things about other people that make reactions to Chantel and Amberlynn. And I don't give a fuck, Shani. I don't care if you sit here and say you didn't say these things. I heard them with my own two ears and I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. And I remember everything you say and you're not forgiven. You can rot in hell. Like I, she is the worst per I have, she is the probably of all the, the people I've had a displeasure of ever knowing about. She's probably the worst. Mm -hmm. Just because she is so disgustingly depraved and just downright racist and abusive to everyone around her and to the people online. Yep. Like, it's just, it's hard to almost sit there and watch. And I have, I, every day I want to, like, probably say something about her. And she always blocks me immediately. Whenever she makes a new Twitter account, she immediately blocks me. I have that effect on some people for some reason. She's also uh, a coward, so. Yeah. I mean, she's tweeted at me like one or two times and I've like sat there and just fucking read her for filth and she immediately uh, blocks me. But um, she, <laughs> I just, I don't want to give her that clout that she so desperately mm -hmm. wants. And I know that's what she wants. She wants so badly for the mm -hmm. reaction channels, I guess. Just start reacting to her, especially in the Amber Bird. Flavor Town. I'm sorry, I'm, just before anybody I'm talks. I'm sorry, yep. Wilson has just donated $5. The incoming meltdown that is going to follow this stream what will happened? be the thing of What's legends. Up? There's a super chat. Oh. Or like a donation, I don't want to say super chat. And so, and y'all can't hear it, so when, when it comes up, it's going to start reading it, and then everybody's talking, and then 
It's right. just going to be like a jumbled. Um, Wilson donated five dollars. He said the incoming meltdown that is going to follow the stream will be the thing of the legends. I know. I just keep pissing her off because she came onto my stream the other day, and I, I'm sure. I don't know if both of you saw it, but it was mm -hmm. a great time. I had a great time. Oh, I saw mm -hmm. you shut her down real well. Oh yeah, real well. She thought uh, she was gonna pull that shit with me, and I said, nope, not today. Sorry. I got to say, the using of children as shields is probably one of the most despicable things I've seen on YouTube in a very long time. Having these children, and they are children by the eyes of the law yeah. and just yes. by biology in it of itself, their yes. brains are still not fully developed. 14, and I don't know how old the other one is. 11 the, with autism, and he's got the emotional capacity of half that. Well, the fact that he's they are both having to sit there and hear this i mean i was up this morning and i started messaging jules on twitter because no one was awake <laughs> and i was watching this stuff and i was like what is going like this was crazy like i was like there he got he got hurt i literally thought he was gonna like hurt her really bad yeah. like it was getting because he's he's not all there he doesn't have all of his faculties like and i know that's not an excuse for being abusive but like he, she'll sit there and like goad him and like I mean when I was watching her in the bathroom and she was like ta saying how he's an awful provider and he's lazy and he doesn't want to get a job and I'm like he's five feet away from you girl like he can hear you like I don't know what you're doing and then also he did provide for you and you fucking ruined it you <laughs> like I don't it, uh, yeah and so she's so ungrateful so ungrateful she's ungrateful for everything she thinks she's entitled to everything i know a couple other people like that um she thinks that she's owed views owed super chats owed subs yep. owed yep. respect owed i mean it the list goes on and on and on and she does none of she does nothing in return for people i mean i've seen her literally like turn on almost every single ally that she's ever made or friendship she's ever had um it's kind of frightening to watch it's escalating and i was talking to charlie about this this morning and i mm -hmm. it, it there's this new phenomenon going on and i don't know if this is going on just on youtube or just on youtube live streams but it seems like these people or the the girls or i mean the people in general though are escalating their negative and toxic abusive behaviors in order to gain clout and now that's providing a shield for people like Shani and Rev to say like, oh, this is performance art or whatever. And it's like, mm -hmm, huh? Yeah. Like, um, it's wild. Rev posted a video that's labeled cop show up. Toasty, do you want to pull it up really quick and we can watch it? It's only a minute long. Sure. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to make, okay, someone, someone's about to do a super chat now. just by the way. Bitch okay. of a okay. wife has just donated $5. Mm -mm -mm. So she spent $800 on overpriced makeup but didn't fix her jacked up teeth. Just proof that Shani and Rev are irresponsible. Now they have to eat yeah, on Shani. the internet. <laughs> Entitled <laughs> losers. Agreed. Uh, thank you, uh, bitch of a wife, for donating $5, <laughs> she said. So she spent over $800 on overpriced makeup but didn't fix her jacked up teeth. Just proof Shani and Rev are yes. irresponsible and now they have to e-bag on the internet and title losers. I'm telling you, if I win the fucking lottery, I'm going to pull a fucking Cardi B and get brand new teeth. I'm just telling you that right now. Yes. Oh my God. Listen, Bert Toast, I was talking to Michael earlier. Like, first of all, if I my man got... Oh, okay. I'm just, okay. This is just me. You know, I'm a believer in surgery. If my man got seven hundred thousand dollars, I'm coming out of this relationship with a whole new fucking body. You oh, smile, exactly right. You everything. That's just me personally. Me mm -hmm. personally, I'm not saying other people need to get surgery, but I'm I'm definitely coming out with new teeth. Have you seen this woman smile? <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. But yourself. the thing You've is that Charlie wants yourself. Charlie wants to get an amount of surgery that would essentially make her so fragile that a gust of wind could probably break her. <laughs> like, and she's, I'm going to try not to drag you too much I'm on this not, live stream. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get all of the surgeries I want, but I will be getting a couple of the surgeries I want. That's, 
all. Love that for you. Because Michael has really dragged me privately. Well, I think that like, you were out of your. I, well, I am a firm believer in that. Like, I, I, I mean, by all means, like if you have, if you have something you want to do, like do it. But like, let's let's also like learn to love ourselves too at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes yeah, we don't I'm need gonna... to fix everything but because it already looks great. Yep, I agree with you. Oh, have you seen me recently, Michael? Okay, so we'll talk about that. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gosh. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but uh, at the very least, she could have gone to the dentist. She'd ha- she yes. could have gone to the, the dentist, a dermatologist, a dietitian. I know. I would have gotten those words therapist. removed There's so, so fast. Many different lists Same. Of, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And she chose. Yeah. She chose to still struggle. It's one thing to be ugly and have money. It's another to be ugly and broke. And the fact that she chose to sit here now. (laughs) And can I just mention, real quick rant, real quick rant. This is the same couple that sat their fat, dirty asses on a bed to sit there and make a comment about some Tyrone and EBT. Do you remember that clip? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you to now fast forward. And have to be on food stamps. And this is not me shaming people on food stamps. This is me shaming two racist ass bigots mm. who sat there and made the comment that they made about food stamps in this Tyrone. I, I don't remember the context of the, if Tyrone was fictional or not. I think it was I just fictional. Remember the, but I do remember that comment. So for you to she... fast forward and sit here today and have to be on food stamps and e-bag on this fucking um on YouTube and sell your pussy that nobody wants Ooh. to buy. No one wants to buy Ooh. hot nope. water and up uh, hot, hot dog water pussy. and mop water. No one wants to buy that. <laughs> no one wants to see that. No one wants a picture of that. No one even wants a picture of your face. So I don't know why you think you could sit on YouTube and sit there and e-bag when you could just water your fat ass and go get a fucking job to provide for your fucking kids. I am so, so okay, I'm going to calm down. Sorry, I don't want to, um, I'm really livid about this <laughs> thing. I'm Tell really us how you really feel, Charlie. It. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, because, I'm not monetized um, or people... anything. Oh, uh, we'll make sure okay, that. Okay, so for people Yes, who thank you. Know, <laughs> so for people who don't know, I was a foster kid. So... When she sat there and asked her children those questions, the same questions that she believed that someone from DCF, like in Connecticut, we call it DCF, someone from DCF would ask, first of all, let me be clear, I lied to every single social worker who asked me questions because that's how fearful I was of my abusive mother. Mm -hmm. I was finally removed after several calls. And the reason that I was finally removed, they started asking questions to someone outside of me. They started asking questions to my cousins who were also abused in that household. That's why I was removed. Because they knew I would keep lying out of fear of my mother, my abusive mother. So sitting there asking your children, because they're fucking children, if they um if this is happening, how do you feel? They're going to lie. You're putting them on the spot, and you're putting them on the spot as an abusive, neglectful parent. They yes. will lie because I did it multiple times because I was fearful of my mom until someone finally told the truth, and then I was removed and placed in foster care. So fuck Shani and fuck Rev. <laughs> yep. Also, I I've talked to Charlie about this too. Um, in the social work. Um, network or whatever in the probably the whole of the United States. So like obvious. So if I don't know, some of you may be too young to remember this, or you don't know, or you've never read about this. But during the crack epidemic, the pretty much the golden standard was we removed the children, like no matter what. And what happened was is they saw a alarming spike in like molestation, child abuse, like a bunch of really awful things happening when they were removing children from their biological families. Because obviously it wasn't so much that these parents were bad parents, they were just actively addicts. And um, they just needed help with getting rid of their addictions and stuff like that. And they were actually suitable parents. But what happened was, is when these kids started going into foster care or into foster homes or being adopted out, they had alarmingly higher rates of the things that I had just said. And so what social work adopted was the family reunification theory where, um, or family unification theory where like, it was more important to keep families with together because um, they had theorized that children would be 
would have a higher rate of success. And so what that also has done now, though, is that now social workers are almost too afraid to remove children from their biological families because of what has happened in the past. Mm -hmm. So that, that is why when Shani and them, like I've had a lot of people that have DM me and stuff, they're like, how does Shani still have her kids? How does Shani still have her kids? And I'm like, mama, just do the research. It's out there. Like you, you can, like they will, that is why we've had cases like Gabriel Fernandez. I mean, that's where near where yeah. I live and stuff like yeah. that. Like when they were filming all that and I was, I was like, yup, I believe it. And it's because that is the, that is, what social workers are doing now they they are they are so focused on trying to keep kids with their biological families because they have a higher rate of success unfortunately but then what happens is then you have really dark shit happening now right so it's like it's 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 almost an impossible a mountain to climb and i feel really bad for social workers cuz they're given very limited resources and have mm -hmm. very limited knowledge and they have very limited power to do what they think that needs to happen, you know? And a lot of times they put their like bodies and lives on the line because a lot of times they go up and they yeah. do these fucking, these interviews and stuff without a cop. Like, you know, I mean, yep. my grandmother was a um, educator wow. down here uh, where I live for a very long time in one of the poorest districts in California. And she's a mandated reporter and stuff like that. And, um, she would talk about how she would have to go down. I mean, we know that, like, um, unfortunately, Native Americans were in, have been subjected to, like, some of the most disgusting and depraved torture and um, human rights abuses of probably any group of people in the world. Yep. I mean, and, um, and so unfortunately, that breeds sometimes in these, like, lower income like reservations like there's some awful things that happen and my grandma would have to like when she would have to do her like her parent teacher stuff or whatever or she needed to go and do like, like a like a because there weren't enough social workers down here so sometimes she had to go down and do like the home visits and stuff like that they would they would send a cop with her like yeah. and it's just i don't know it's just it's a very tricky subject. I have a lot of empathy for people that like work with children and stuff because it's very hard. Same. And it's very sad to watch Shani's children be continuously um, and almost like, in my opinion, um, purposely subjected to like many different forms of abuse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, and it's like, I don't know. It, it, and the way that she's using her kids as a shield now is just, it's alarming. And I don't think that there's anything good is going to happen because of that. Well, <laughs> like, no. the thing is, is this isn't her first time using them. There's other previous videos where she's making them get on camera and say like, like Bible stuff. And then she, I think she said something about her kids will go to hell or she taught her kids that you'll go to hell if you don't read the Bible or something like that. I forgot exactly what it said. I'm sure Tosi you know, remembers. She said um, a while ago, well, what she said was that if her kids grew up to have different beliefs than her, I'm assuming religious beliefs, that she basically, you know, she was only required to feed and clothe them, but um, that would be it. That she basically would ignore them if they didn't believe everything she believed. That's crazy. She's, um, yeah. She is so, so sadistic. Difficult. Like, yeah. it, oh... Yeah, Ooh. DPS was there last week doing a home check, by the way. That's why mm -hmm. they cleaned their house. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Rev really? cleaned the house, not her. <laughs> yeah. I think they are I think they tell them beforehand, um, because yeah. I think they're oh. required. Also, this whole idea that Shani can't work is so insane to me. As someone whose job was affected by COVID and the pandemic, we were we had to work from home on my boss put all of her employees at home we're working from home now and we're at the point now where she's decided that it makes more money or it makes more sense money wise for us to just work from home yes. so she's getting rid of our office yep. and we're only going to have a warehouse now and we're all just going to be working from home from now on and yeah. she's just going to have her own personal office i do a lot of work meetings. from home i only go in like two days a week now yeah so just, the job like you know. The job environment, the job ca atmosphere has changed dramatically in 2020. We are a post-COVID yes. world. 
there's so many jobs you can do from home now and so many companies and employers would actually prefer you to work from home yeah so this idea that she can't find a job or she's in you she may not be able to work because she's crazy i mean that's a whole thing but the <laughs> fibromyalgia bullshit and that's the osteoarthritis and all of that you know what I'm sorry, Mama. I know people with metal hips and shit that can barely walk that out here and work a job in real life in person. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you do what you got to fucking do. Okay, you don't sit there and whine about it, smoke weed all day. Well, she thinks she's going to get disability. She keeps going, yeah, the doctor's going to just walk how I walk and just automatically give it to me. That She really <laughs> believes that. Like, it, right. no, her hard. whole heart that's believes that. Hard. Right. Getting getting approved for disabled is a very hard thing to do. Yeah, it is. So it is. I mean, a my very sister hard and long process. And Shandy's it's not a good enough hard. actress. I've seen it. Yeah, my sister. <laughs> um, um, she's had arthritis since she was 16. That's when she got diagnosed with it, and she's 27 now. Um, and she's had multiple wrist transfusions. They replaced her knuckles. All that. And it took her years to get on fucking disability. Years. I have a friend who is, has rheumatoid arthritis. One of her knees is practically locked, and she's an RN on the fucking oh, floor. Oh fuck! Wow. On the floor, still doing out, still doing the damn thing. Wow. Like well, so... she, Shani lies about her, like like the whole thing where she's like, I went to college and all that. That's bullshit. She didn't even graduate high school. No, she has eleventh um, grade education. Yeah, basically, she got kicked out of high school because she kept accusing like her teachers of sexual, like they were sexually assaulting people. No yeah, one wants to touch that slug. <laughs> <laughs> well, she actually was skinny back then. Funny enough, have you all seen her high school picture? I haven't. No. Oh my Ooh. god, I should pull be that. Be careful, shit up. though. Be careful. Be careful. We don't I'm want you to be. To... Okay. Oh yeah, don't show that on here. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I? We get... don't need you being called a pervert or anything, right? Oh, okay. Because she, no. she could get you for. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll talk to you later about it, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I won't show you guys. Maybe, maybe in private. Um, <laughs> but um, anyways, so she got kicked out of high school. Pretty much her sophomore year is what I think it was. It was either sophomore or freshman. I'm pretty sure of sophomore. Mm. Junior, she was 11th grade. Yes, so it was something around um, that. I think she, they just kind of passed her to get rid of her. Mm -hmm. And so they told her parents, them. yeah, they they kicked her out. And the school board basically came to her parents and said, you know, we're not going to. We're not doing this anymore. Yeah, we're not doing this anymore. And we're not going to punish her anymore. So you guys just need to homeschool her. And so her parents, who didn't have a lot of money, bought books and everything to homeschool her. And she wouldn't even crack a book open. And then I, fast forward to she was like 18 and her parents signed a waiver so that she could join the Navy. Um, because I guess at that time, yeah, huh, uh, she lasted uh, four weeks into boot camp I mean, and she was kicked out. Oh. She was kicked out because of the same. She acted the same then that she does on YouTube now. Yeah, she said she like fucked what, imagine, the general's son. Yeah. Can I just say, um, do you can you imagine how fucking crazy you must be in order to get kicked out of the military? <laughs> I mean, not, not that all military people are crazy, but I'm just saying that like, yeah. I, I would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then you fast forward and there's twice, I think, before her first husband and then after her first husband, there was two different times where she went to a community college to take classes to get her GED, but she never completed a single class of that either. So she has no GED. Uh, despite what she has claimed, she does not have a medical degree. She does not have a psychology degree. I think That's what she's obvious. saying now, she's walked it back and be like, well, I almost have a degree. Girl, no. You don't even have a high school diploma, so just stop it. You know. Yeah, when, so she, when she was talking about how she like works in, I, forget, I think it was talking. She was talking to Chantel or something like that, and she was mm -hmm. like, "Oh, I work in like health or something, and no. I have a I have a background in psychology." And I was like, "Girl, <laughs> shut up! Just because you watch like Psyched or something on USA Network does not mean you know shit about psychology. Like, mm -hmm. go away." Technically, she did work at one, but she was cleaning exactly. bathrooms. Yeah, she's an, so, she an aide or a, yeah. a, a, a like a, a. I don't even. Yeah, I think you have to have a GED to be a nursing aide. I'm yeah, pretty she sure. wasn't. She wasn't any of that actually. It was like a group home, 
kind well, of a know, thing. Toasty, we're about to piss and the fuck off if she's listening right now. I don't even care. I'm just Hell, she, hang on my name. Fight me. Fight sue me. me. <laughs> yeah, right. Sue me, bitch. <laughs> yes, um, please but, sue uh, me. And just turn in my picture. <laughs> the last job she had was in uh, 2017. Um, before she was physically removed by police from her parents' house. But that's a whole other Dr. Phil show. But in 2017, she um, started working at this group home. And I don't know what her title was, but that's she essentially terrifying. worked like overnight and she would like mop the floors and change trash cans and stuff like that. That's what she was supposed to be doing. She was there for two weeks or one week. Uh, I would, I'll be fair. I'll say two weeks. And she got fired because she was streaming uh, live streams during the night instead of huh? working. What? Hundred yep, percent happened. What? Yep. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is that the same job that she blames all of her haters for for getting her fired from? No, no, is that no. that same job? No, no, That's no. A different she job? said that she was okay. So this, I think, this is before Jason, right? Is this the one? Because uh, she keeps making a claim that um the reason um. That she was going to be promoted in the job to like some manager, but then she chose Jason over the job. That's the claim that I remember. That that is not that's not a thing. It was <laughs> never a thing. Okay, so all the jobs she's ever had, and she hasn't had a whole lot, but she's had a lot of like little like she was a cab driver for like seven days. She worked at Burger King for like I think a couple of weeks. Burger she's King never. She's never lasted in a job longer than two months. I think two months was the longest she's ever worked in a job. And there were huge um, time periods between jobs where she didn't work at all. So she hasn't worked since 2017. She just can't hold a job down. She gets fired every time because she won't show up or she won't do the job or she ends up causing drama and people just don't want to put up with Shocking, it. Shocking, right? Didn't she I stream? Know. Didn't she say she got fired from a subway because she was streaming from there or something too i don't know about that i swear to god i heard someone Shandy call her a sandwich artist or, so, or, or rev called her a sandwich Shandy artist and i was like oh, oh my god guys someone i am still working some way but i don't Charlie have any gold. idea if she you did or not owe me fifty thousand dollars somebody came in on a so. sock under shandy for christ and donated a dollar and it said dragnet is paying all of you to harass me i'm suing <laughs> all of you especially charlie gold you are all gonna owe me fifty thousand dollars it's not the real person it's a sock but it's still funny. Oh. Honestly, sue Charlie Gold. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Better get, get your her, money. Fanny. Sue me. Sue she her. thinks she gets fifty thousand dollars per person. Oh I'm my like, God. Oh. I've been. <laughs> and by the no, way, they claim to be besties with Nikocado. Uh, Nikocado Avocado. They claim to be besties with him. They claim that they're texting him, and I'm like, that's probably a troll. When Rev goes, um, can you please check your cameos? Um, um, can you please answer me back? I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> Oh my That's god. That's cringe. That's fucking. I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, clearly they are out of their goddamn minds. And, but I, it, it's hard. Yeah. I was talking to like Charlie and stuff about this. And it's hard for me because, like, obviously Rev shouldn't do the awful shit he's saying and doing. But at the same time, like, he's actually insane. Like, he needs to be medicated in yes. somewhere, getting like severe psychological treatments, maybe like three times. She a tries week. to diagnose him and it's fucking terrible. Like, she tries to act like, um, she knows what's going on with him. Like she automatically assumes he's bipolar. Like I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and say that because I have no fucking idea. Right. So it's just like you're sitting here trying to like tell him what drugs to take. Like calm the fuck down. All right. That's terrifying to think about too. Like I would not be surprised if he went and saw a psychiatrist and like she was like, no, we're gonna actually have you take this amount of medication. But I would like, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I like, yeah. She's. Well, she did gra crazy. graduate her don't beat your husband classes, okay? So you got to give her well, credit for that. At oh least God. she graduated something. Exactly, did she graduate right? summa cum laude? She's about to go for her second round pretty soon. Did she take the AP course or the regular college prep course? <laughs> well, and you want to know no, the best part about APP. that? She was dual enrollment. What are you talking about? Is they, oh, okay, they, um, Toasty, you can correct me. Fast tracked. But... They um they um oh my god someone under Reb Leave News just US donated. Alone. Re. Oh. No. <laughs> said stop talking to my wife. She's perfect and doesn't beat me. Leave us alone. <laughs> Re for a dollar. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Um, she also uh, fuck. I forgot what I was saying. 
Okay, guys, I don't remember what I was saying. Sorry. Her her <laughs> what, her her husband beating classes or something. <laughs> I don't AP remember. courses. Um, I really don't remember what I was saying. Oh, mm. I hate it when that happens. Fuck, it's okay. You're fired. You're fired. Get out. Damn, just exit. <laughs> the like kick off her own stream. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. Um, Toast, do you want to watch this real quick? Because I'm not sure if he's gonna delete it or not. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want any surprises. Oh, wait, hold on. By the way, this is labeled cop showed up. Oh, you folks. Oh, okay. His internet is terrible. I just want to thank each and every single non human. Okay, so not me, all right. All Tuned out. <laughs> this wonderful, I mean, and I mean that actually, they're oh. really good people. You're so they, welcome. They, what they do is they protect kids, man. Like like I saw when I was driving my son to school before COVID. Were you high what, again? He, oh, now you claim him as your son? All right, man. You know, <laughs> watching the kids. That's really awesome. You know, I like that. Um, He's so pissed. Do so you like people watching kids? Did he say he kids? was watching kids? We had a nice yeah, officer come and knock on our door. Good. So your wellness check, I'm sure that's what it was. Are you doing Okay. Could I see the kids? I didn't answer the door. I'm not answering the door for cops anymore. Pussy. I'm just not doing it. I don't dislike cops, uh, the good ones. I don't dislike them at all. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, against cops at all. Oh it, wait, wait, pause with... it really quick. Do you want to see how Shani feels about cops? About cops <laughs> that didn't have nothing to do with her? Mm. Let me, let me. Oh, let this me, is gonna be good. Just give me a sec. Let me pull up my screenshots. Wasn't she like attacking some cop that died? Yeah, yep. who Is had seven up? kids. Yep, I am. Okay. Um, just give me a second. You can still play the video. I'll bring it back up. Okay. With uh, blacks is horrible. And it oh needs God! To stop. And that, that's the other thing I can't stand. Is that yeah, shit? Yeah, I hate when people say blacks. Like, <laughs> ugh, it hurts my heart. It, okay, you can keep going. He's, just, he's he such a fake, like, people. activism okay. thing shit. Like, he, they want us to claim, like, Black Lives Matter and all that shit. And they don't, obviously, you just look at them and they don't, they don't stand up to that. So when Shannon did that bullshit on Twitter where she was just being over the top about shit when it had nothing to do with it, because she likes to make it about her at the end of the day. So she took the the stuff that was going on with Black Lives Matter and she tried to make it about her because at the end of the day, it's all about Shani. And that's mm -hmm. why I didn't believe that shit when she said it. Also, when you go around calling a bunch of black people the N-word, I think you're not about Black Lives Matter. Like, 100%. Uh, <laughs> you think? Exactly. You can eat shit and die. Exactly. Pretty much. Some of them are racist, I think. I believe that. But, um... Like you. T. Yeah, we got our knock. And uh, he just he just drove away because he knows really? nothing's going on here. There's no there's Rep's no bad stuff average going to on. Donated he one dollar. Pussy answer the door. All the flop uh, and slacker be to me. Mm -hmm. but, oh my huh? God. Pause it really quick. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> ban you. Rev's not so average. Dick donated a dollar. All the flop and slack are lawn to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Y'all are wrong. If you hear us say Ron, we know we're saying it wrong. We're just mock yeah. mocking her. I'm just, I, just making sure you yeah. know that. You gotta leave off the G's and save them up for the N-word. Just like Shani. Why does she do that? I don't know. Laziness? Her, hers, her, I, I'm not, I don't want to talk oh, about her kids, but her her son does Gavin it too. Kit Katz donated oh, one dollar. Oh, damn. Help me. I haven't seen watermelon Aww. in months. There's Gavin and Kit Katz donated a dollar. Their cat's name is Gavin. And it said, I haven't seen Watermelon in months. I can't get out. And Watermelon is their black cat. Didn't Flavor she just show it yet today? Yeah. The other day? I thought we saw it yeah. has. Yes, yeah. and the cat, like, $5. literally, like, almost this clawed her fucking face off. I thought it's everyone hilarious. should know that. Yato thinks Nick Cannon uh, yeah. is a better rapper Damn, than Damn, Tito, you're about to get Yato canceled. He said... He donated five dollars and said, "This is unrelated." I thought everyone should know that Yato thinks Nick Cannon is a better rapper than Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh fuck! Y'all are funny. Oh fuck! Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt y'all. Fine. Did you find the DMs? You want me to continue? You can playing? continue. My my thing is being stupid. 
Okay. Thing you have to understand, it was mainly performance art. Like, I don't understand what you guys don't get. Uh, Nikocado does it with Orlin, and uh, they put it on their Patreon, you know, because uh, YouTube doesn't like this type of stuff because it kind of seems like domestic violence, but it's not. Oh, can it's you pause? Can you pause real quick? Mm -hmm. See, this would be a great time as a content creator to include a clip where Nick has pointed his finger on Orlin's forehead and made a trigger motion as if he was going to shoot Orlin. I've never seen that. And I don't agree with any of the stuff that Nick does, especially when it makes a mockery of domestic violence. Yeah. But there was nothing performative about that. There was nothing performative about him spitting on Shani. There was nothing performative about him saying that he wanted to kill or he could possibly kill Shani and her children. There was nothing performative about that. That was scary. And the fact that she's still in that household with that man is even scarier. Those are innocent children. There was nothing performative about that. Okay. And so she, got found... mad... and she gets mad at you guys for, and calls you guys the child abusers, which is blowing. Like, literally, there's a man standing in front of you threatening to kill your children, and like, mm -hmm. you're mad at people Wait. on the internet. He, Rev personally called me a, um, uh, I don't want to say it on my stream, but it starts with a P. He, yeah, he called both of us a P word. Oh. oh god, who the Rev News donated a dollar again and says, You are all getting sued for stealing my content. Don't make me eat my own cum again. I was gonna oh. teach schools how to do it. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> That's what real men do, right, Rev? Oh my god. <laughs> um, so he called me that word because they made merch, and I'm sure you probably heard this before, but they made merch, and so they made a baby onesie with the, and it said baby carrot, and so baby carrot <gasps> refers to his penis, and so in the, in the description, he says, even babies know Rev has a baby carrot, and I pointed it out, and he called oh. me that. Yeah. What the fuck? It's still yeah. up. It's still up. You can go find it. It's still on it. their merch. Yeah, it's still on their site. And they see nothing Holy. wrong with it. You point it out, and they'll call you a P-word, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I found this screenshot. I know some of you have already seen the screenshot, but this is the police officer that died in the shooting. Um, I don't, oh, wait. Give me a second. Oh, at the grocery store? Yes. Okay, hold on. Wait, someone's Flavor about to town. donate. Melissa Boomer of the Night has just donated $5. We get it, Joel. Dollars. People donate to your Story stream. <laughs> 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 oh my god, y'all are making me a rich bitch now. However, I really did get a community <laughs> guideline strike last night. You get some lobster tails with that. <laughs> Guys. Don't eat all your money like Channy, though. Oh shit. Make no, sure it's to probably gonna bit. go to my cats. I have four cats. One of my cats, okay, this is sidetracked, but one of my cats has to get surgery next not next Monday, but the Monday after. So some of these guys have given me money, and it covers what needs to be paid. So that's cool. You guys didn't know that, but shout out to you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the screenshot, but this is about the police officer that died in the shooting at the grocery store. So Shani claims that was the police officer that um, arrested her, and you can see on the police reports that police officer was never there. Um, so she proceeded to say... Uh, so the police can R me. Uh, they do that to women in Boulder. Why do you think I'm still like, fuck Boulder? That cop that got killed is a R piece of shit. Uh, he's in hell. Don't care he has seven kids. Proves he's a perv. His wife and his kids huh? are probably relieved. Again, I hate men. Whoa. So apparently that guy take. was a really nice person. He was a family man. Um, his children and his wife and his friends miss him a lot. Like he was just a very charitable person. He volunteered. Like he was a, a nice, good person. So fuck Damn. her for saying that. All my DMs were open. Y'all got also, also him having seven children proves he's a rape an R word, sorry. I mean, I don't think you can get flagged for that. I think it's the P word you get flagged for. Um, I just didn't want... I just... If you said it, I, I don't care. Um, he... Yes, he thinks that means... So, in her mind, that all cops are that way, and, and she has made the claim before when she got arrested that one time, is that... Uh, 
they did that to her in jail. They stripped her naked, which they strip you naked in jail because they make sure you're not carrying anything on you. Right. Um, and so you have to do all that. You do the cough test, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so she, I guess she claims that happened to her, which she said, oh, they put me in front of the male inmates. There shouldn't be male inmates where you are. Right. I don't know where she's getting this from. And then he, but- she told him that story and he believes it. There's not even male cops when they do that. Yeah, like you can actually see at the end of some of the body cam footage, it's a female officer that comes mm-hmm. out of the jail and is patting her down and taking her in. It's, it was female officers. So she's just lying. Oh, that's that's a fucked up lie. <laughs> yeah. She's so awful. Yeah. Um. Yeah, someone said when I switched over my DMs were up, I really don't care. There was nothing that important that anybody saw. They saw, like, part of Charlie and I's conversation of us just fucking laughing about um, Karate Joe. Oh, there's nothing in DMs that I've said that I wouldn't care. I would please. Are you kidding? Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I know they showed up for a second. It's okay. Anything I've said in DMs, I would say publicly. <laughs> just anything I've said in DMs, I would say publicly. 5,000 so. streams <laughs> tomorrow. Did you see? Did you see what on her screen? Oh, my God. I know, right? They're, um, oh, my God. You're exposed. You're talking to this person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even use Twitter that much because I'm on Discord. So, wait, what? Um, they Googled her. The male inmates Googled her. What? Did she claim oh, yeah. that too, Drag? They claimed they um, googly eyed her. I think is how she oh, said it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I think she means oh, like, like her. Yeah, but she said Googled instead. No one wants that, dude. Okay, Char- <laughs> Charlie and I have talked about this. Right? I mean, I, I know this isn't true, obviously. I mean, I know. But, like, <laughs> I'm, like, so gay that I used like, not used to think, but my joke is that, like, women's pussies are, like, um, uh, squid beaks. Like, there's a squid beak in there. And <laughs> oh Shani God. has reaffirmed that conspiracy <laughs> theory to me. Because you can't tell me there's not a squid beak up in that. <laughs> there's a squid beak. Um, apparently, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> I need to clear my throat. Uh, Shandy posted a community tab post that says, Be wise, dot, 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 your channels, you're gonna lose your channel, and it's about me restreaming this. Oh, bitch, give me, do, do you think YouTube's my fucking life? Do you think if I lost my channel, I would really be that upset? Know, right? Like, I have a full time is- job that pays my fucking bills. Like, yeah, it would suck because I put a lot of my effort into my content. But, like, you're not going to scare me away. You can go fucking choke on a dick for all I care. Also, Shani, telling, well, your, all, um, telling your followers the mask your... flag... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. We'll <laughs> telling your followers the mask flag channels is against terms of service. Yes, so... correct. Well, and she's also, offering for her members. Your videos... No, sorry, Charlie. You go ahead. I, I didn't say, hear you. You have... yeah, I say, as long as you have your video saved, if something happened to your channel, I'll purposely stream with you weekly until we built it back up oh shani no one's scared of you and it's easy to rebuild a second channel relax oh no yeah. guys the dragon king has build, come i've helped someone build their channel stick to do shout outs i've helped someone build their channel up to eleven thousand subs only for them to destroy it so oh, imagine charlie I uh hey, yeah. stop Sorry, go ahead. i feel like i know who that's okay, about <laughs> She didn't well, say yeah, it. Okay. You, you guys, we all, we just, co- we collectively hallucinated that. Well, like, guess what, guys? Right there. I am so proud of myself because I'm over 600 <laughs> okay. right now, and I feel like I've done pounds? a lot of it. Huh? 600 pounds? No, yeah, six, girl. 600 subs. Yeah. <laughs> Big girl. I know. I'm. Well, they think me and Toasty are, like, morbidly obese because we don't show yeah. our face. The reason why I don't show my face is because some of you people on the internet are stupid and like to dox and like to call people's work. No, yep. thank you. Yep. I pass. Fucking hell, I. Yes, I. Fucking hell, That's drag. Fucking face. Yes, <laughs> yes, fucking face. Yes, <laughs> oh, my God. Not Sorry, gonna I had to add drag because it's going to piss her off more. So. Yeah, fucking hell, I. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, drag, I know I'm a freaking whore, so you don't have to tell me again. Yeah. I'm also loving the the storyline of um, Rev cheating on Shani with a woman named Caitlin, Caitlin from Exclusive. <laughs> it's like a text. Uh, who the so, fuck is, where is yeah, Exclusive? What is, is that, that a fucking... So what happened was apparently during COVID, like during like the 
shut down. There was a lot of stuff that they had to go do. Like he had a lot of court dates and there was a lot of stuff going on. And so it sounds like to me that he had to get into a building. And so he had to text the person so they can walk and open the door for him because it was closed to the public at that time. Um, and so he said in the video that basically um, somebody had to text him to let him know which door to go into during COVID. And that's basically all it was. And she, der and she derived a whole cheating love yeah. affair from that. Yeah. Even though it was one text. That oh, said, she Come does that with every me. woman that comes in. Cause even when I was like, you know, friends with them, I would DM Reb and she would get jealous. Like she thinks I want to fuck Reb. Like, I'm like, dude, I, I mean, would... you don't No, I don't No, oh, I have. Guess what? I like my, I like my man. I have here. Um, he has a career. Unlike this one oh. on the screen. It's so Reb does too. What are you talking about? about? What are we doing? <laughs> I mean, oh, I man. suck Reb. I'm just kidding. Don't. Please delete that. Don't clip that and use that in anything. <laughs> I will. I will. Sue. You should have never said anything. Oh God. <laughs> Whatever. Cancel me. I'm literally googling Caitlyn from exclusive. <laughs> I want to know what exclusive is. I've never. Is it like? Is it like insider? I have is that no what idea. She means? That's what I don't know, but it it, uh, it resembles Flavor exactly town. what Chris would talk about when. Uh, anytime Secret Chris would have uh, you has know, just co-worker or just $5. old friends, any Yogi sort of female content that wasn't Shani, he immediately, you know, or was, uh, you know, many acts of infidelity. And it just, it just shows a pattern that Shani cannot stand any other woman in the vicinity because they immediately become competition. Or that Shani can't keep a man, which, yeah, I, I'm That's not surprised. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they call me, they, they literally think it's insulting me calling me a fat Yoshi. Look at my fucking picture. It's a fucking fat Yoshi. Do you think yeah. I didn't pick that? Like that? What? Shani actually uh, resembles that picture, real talk. No. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I I mean Jules, and it's funny because Jules looks nothing like mm. Shani's face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's funny. Like, Toasty's seen my face, Drag has seen my face, and it's like, I, I only trust very few people. You know what Same. I mean? Yeah. And so, you know, Drag literally... He, I mean, you know, he, 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 he stares at my pictures. Don't tell his wife. Um, <laughs> even though his wife's up in my DMs because she loves me more. Mm. Well, but. I mean, drag and Miss D know what I look like, too. So I'm not 600 pounds. Yeah, I work Sorry at Denny's and I have a beer gut. That's exactly what's Lies. Like going on. Lies, you sound fat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm massive. Confirmed. I'm massive. Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Toast has her own gravitational pull. Confirmed. That's right. That's right. I got rings. Okay. No, hey. has a lot of hair. Her hair is long as shit. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Yeah. Also, is Shani picking hair out of the top of her scalp? Because I've never seen a bald spot like that. I don't know. Shani I think or it's Reb? lack of have? It's lack of nutrition. Chantel. Oh my god, I love. Oh my. Mm. And she also you know dyes her do? hair a lot. You know what I do in the Discord? We have a not safe for work other, which you put like things that are kind of trollish, but they're not safe for work. And I put a picture of uh, Chantel when she's in the bra and she's wearing the uh, yeah. the mask. Yeah. Oh, the OnlyFans? No, the one where she has the little face mask on. And she's wearing a bra and she kind of is doing this really f weird face, and her her hair powder's not in. Oof. It was great. I like traumatizing people and. In the Discord. Yeah, and that's exactly why I have that channel because the other channel is for people to masturbate to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caitlin, you don't find her donated one dollar. Oh Hell my no. God, guys! I love some nice big, 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 big women. I'm talking about stretch marks and a little bit of gut, of little self esteem, that kind of vegetables. thing. Shani, there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> about anything about her that's remotely attractive. Um, so... Shani's thick with three Ks. She oh. is. So, <laughs> Caitlin from Exclusive donated a dollar. It says, I was try just trying to be nice to Jason, and all of a sudden I was getting sent pictures of a very small root vegetable. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh, I had to see Rev's asshole, okay? Nothing phases Oof. me at this point. Uh, so I got a, a comment to make, but oh. my, uh, my wife wanted to say, uh, tell Jules and Brent Toast they're beautiful, and shout out to Charlie, too. Aww. Oh, so fuck my oh, drag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Fuck Michael. Wow. She's in the back room. Tell your wife I said hey. 
Yeah, she's she's listening right now. She might. Mrs. D is a bad bitch. She's enjoying herself right now. Uh, but so I didn't know that that Jason could gape his asshole. I was actually pretty impressed uh, oh, by God. that. Let me just say, I, I've never seen a man I think do I that. I know what you're referring to. Sadly. Oh, I can send you the picture. I don't know what you're referring to. He arched did, his back and everything. So yeah. <laughs> did did any of you guys ever play Left for Dead? Yes, I love that. And uh, Rev's body reminds me of the witches. <laughs> <laughs> You know where it's yeah, a flabby wit. You know what? That's you. You got a point. You got a right. Point. It's like skinny arms, but like a weird, emaciated, like bloated of... belly thing, and Lunch weird hips. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I got some. I'm not gonna lie. I want his hair. Oh no! His, when uh... Drag says he has something special, it's not good. So you know that tooth that's on the back right, the one that's just only a, a fragment now? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doc Savage found, let me screen share, he found it before it chipped off and fell out. And that's what it looks like. Also, does it not hurt to chew? You would think. Because right there, oh. that's oh. That thing oh, my black. God. Oh, oh, That's my like God. your root. That's like the, it's almost oh. the root it's of her brown. tooth. And by yeah. the way, oh, yeah. her, it's probably dead. Oh, yeah, it's definitely chipped off now. Is that why she can't feel it? Board. Yeah, I think you can't feel it after some point. I mean, obviously, it can get infected, which is bad for her because she's such a big weight that I don't think she'll fit in a dentist chair, just kind of like how Amber Lynn didn't fit in a dentist chair. So she's going to get to the point where it's going to get infected. And that's why the other teeth were pulled out. They didn't just fall out. They were pulled oh, out. Shit. My bad. Oh, my God, we were watching you play a game. Mm. Yeah, I'm playing a game. <laughs> we love a multitasking king. Uh, I, I have to do several things at once. It, it keeps my mind occupied. Oh, it's almost like you're productive or something. That's interesting. Yeah. Love that. No, he's, right? he's never graduated college. He's a he's just a student. He's a perpetual uh, student. Yes, yeah, sorry. That's I forgot. And he's a bomb. <laughs> he, he his wife pays the bills. Do you know you know who else is perpetual students? Who? Doctors. Yeah. Literally you have yeah. to continue your education mm. for the rest of your career. Shh, don't tell Shani that because she'll block it's- you. It's almost like really dumb people who don't know what the hell they're talking about education-wise don't realize that you have to continue to educate yourself in the field that you work in. Nah, you yeah. watch YouTube crazy, videos. right? That's it. You get a lab coat and you watch YouTube videos. I promise. <laughs> T. Bye. Damn. Code cracked. Yeah. You know what I notice with um, a lot of, especially when it comes to some creators on the platform, and I, I see that Rev and Shani fall into that, I notice when it's um, people who could have accomplished stuff in life, but they didn't, especially when they're racist, and blame other people, they tend to be the ones who are failures, bombs, and balding. And oh, um, not balding. Oh. oh no. Yeah, they're all. Oh, you don't notice that pattern a lot. That's of true, like, though. Yeah. That are bombs, they're balding. It's 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 a trend, and I don't understand why. And it's something that should be studied because I feel like I'm onto something. Because I can name five, but I'm only going to stick to uh, Charlie's uh, thesis. Rev Jenny. <laughs> I'm just saying it should be it should be studied. It's very interesting. Is there a correlation to balding and failure to launch? I want. I want to get yeah. Just saying. Yeast. I, I think there's there's something up with Shani's yeast, like the her, her personal yeast. Oh fuck. I mean, I would love. You know, I'm not even joking. I want to add it because I have a collection of yeast. That's what I work with. And so oh my like, God. There, there has to be something unique about her yeast. So if she could just send me a sample, maybe from Rev's lip or something, you know, then I could, I could definitely culture. No, drag. They were talking about that they that Rev and Shani have sex and she's on her period right now, and she goes. That's, well, okay. Is she? On, or is it okay? That Last sounds like day or first day. What? Last day or first day. I, it has to be like almost to, towards the end. Yeah, because that end. does make a difference. I don't know. I just want to say, Rev, uh, you wanting to collect Tito, Shani's has yeast just and grow it sounds like the beginning of The Last of Us. Shani so doesn't I'm going to have veto that uh, yeah. experiment because I personally don't want to bring a clicker. Um, yeah. That's fair enough. That's fair. But she claims that she's like going through menopause, but then still has her period. So I, I don't yeah, know. she doesn't know how words work. So sorry, guys. I didn't mean to gross you out in the chat, or did I? Unsubscribe. Thank you. <laughs> well, Shani's really feeling herself. She got thirty new subscribers today. So I love when they try to gauge people's success on YouTube, and I'm like. 
you don't know what success is on YouTube, oh. ma'am. Like, huh? Yeah. Like, she's killing it. She's actually killing it out here on YouTube. Huh? The <laughs> fuck? Killing herself, maybe, but not yeah. YouTube. <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm gonna laugh when one of us. I know Drag already Drag already does, but me and Toasty um, get more subscribers than her. She's gonna be salty as fuck because she's just gonna stay the same. She'll probably lose oh. some, gain some, lose some. She's never gonna go more than that. Oh, so, I'm getting close. You are getting you know, close. All, all those times that she said that my videos were shit, that I wasn't funny, that I wasn't growing, blah blah blah. Mm. Sorry about shit. your luck, hater. Shani did the same, or not Shani, Chantel did the same thing when she saw that, like, the reaction channels are starting to outpace her growth. Mm -hmm. So she immediately, that was literally, she immediately yep. started being like, well, I'm taking your whole channel down. As soon as she saw people, like, rivaling her in views and subs, yeah. like, it bothered the fuck out of her. And I'm like, I could never imagine having such an ego that big where it's like, you really are that concerned about, like, people having more subs than you. Like, mm -hmm. just keep it pushing. It, it's something I've noticed. Like the, the people who really don't have much else, like they don't have any other job skills, or, you know, they don't really. There's nothing else in their life. This is it. This is their only form of affirmation. So they have to look for clicks and views and stuff. Yes. Like that. And then they they hinge their entire identity on that. So if they don't get some you know arbitrary goal by the end of the week, then they feel like shit. And so that that's what sparks that. It's just such a weird metric to like measure yourself on in terms of like happiness and success. Like, and I under, and I get that, like, there are YouTubers exactly. out here that kill it and they make a lot of money or whatever, but, like, there are so many other forms of success that you can achieve in your life other than, yeah. like, being popular on a make-believe platform. Like, this right. is, like, not that it's make-believe, but, like, it's it's arbitrary. Or, or like, like our official platform, right? Like, yeah, yeah, right. Like, it's, like, I mean, I've made friends and stuff on here and all that, and I've gotten, like, close to people, but, like, real talk, the subscriber count is a number, like, and it's a number that you'll exactly. never, ever really see in real life. Like, it's right. not that quantifiable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, this is, this is a hobby for me. I mean, if I end up making a little bit of money, great. But I, I'm not counting on it. I'm not thinking about it. For me, this is just entertainment. This is, this is just hanging out and having some laughs. So I think it's really funny that people out here take things way too seriously. And they think that somehow they're going to, like, hurt my fifis because they're gonna flag my video and it's just like i don't go ahead try it it's not gonna work it's because they have nothing else they don't have exactly. an argument exactly. so it's like nothing well else. then i'm just gonna try to like take your whole channel down because like i don't even want to sit here and try to like argue why you're wrong in any kind of intellectual way <laughs> like it's just gonna be like no, you can't exist, which is so interesting to me because the same people who do that shit are the same people that are constantly talking about how they don't want their civil liberties trampled on by, mm -hmm. like, the government and stuff like that. And it's, like, these are the same people that go around advocating for, like, mass flags and, like, channels being taken down mm -hmm. and Twitter accounts being taken. It's yeah. fucking weird. It's a very weird... Yeah, and it's interesting because for the longest time, like I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm progressive, like, and for the longest time, we've always been, we always say that like we're opponents of free speech and da 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 da. But it's like it's interesting how that has shifted tremendously in the past four years. How it's like there's a whole like now cancel culture can be utilized by anyone and everyone, and but it's different when a certain person does it compared to when you do it. It's weird. Yeah, and I've never, like, I have 15 different people that I've had in my videos, and I don't have any of them blocked. And I've always said that if any of them ever wanted to come on stream and, you know, tell me off or whatever, tell me I'm shit, that's fine. Do that. I don't care. But it, these same people will also scream my first, you know, their first amendment, amendment rights are being trampled on as they're mass banning their entire chat. <laughs> like, right. Are you kidding me? And they right. have everybody blocked. They, they just shut it down. They shut down the conversation because they want their little hug box. You know, they want their, their little safe space because they're so sensitive. They don't want to have a conversation with somebody that's going to disagree with them. Oh, yeah. And Wouldn't it be funny? In the stream, they take off. Yep. Wouldn't it be funny if Shani came in the stream right now? Oh, she's not out here. It's I small. know your hair. There's you too many black her. people in this stream. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's two and a half black people in here. She, was never, she can't handle that. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll leave if it makes her feel better. I, I have no problem. She's not going to come in. She don't like me either, so, you know. She's you 100% scared of Charlie. She would never talk to Charlie. Like, 
just alone, just that fact, she would be mm-hmm. like, nope, sorry, um, someone's gonna rip my ass to pieces. Ugh. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, I'll ask her about her wrist. And honestly, like, I, I mean, wouldn't even punch really want to talk everybody. to her. Two I don't even feel like there's any kind of explanation she can give me that would, like, make me have any kind of understanding with no, her. No, racist. Middle- that's, that's, the, that's her thing. We're, well, she's not racist you, you're if racist if that's how they feel about that then so be it but i don't really seek i don't really want to seek middle ground with a racist person i'm good mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you can have your beliefs over there exactly. in the corner in your exactly. squalor on your pee pad i don't care <laughs> yeah, she said that i was a racist because i told her that she can't claim citizenship to a nation that she doesn't belong to because i'm indigenous and she likes to claim that she's this tribe or that tribe and so when I call her out on it, she calls me the racist. And I was like, okay, that's not what that word means, but okay. Well, tell her, tell him, tell him what tribe she claimed to be. <laughs> she claimed that she was a uh, Mohican nation, which doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, I can't. It's the title of a movie. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Oh, she also claimed to be Cherokee, which is hilarious because that's what all racists claim. Also, earlier when you guys were talking about her claiming to be divergent or whatever, I think she meant that she's claiming she's neurodivergent. Yeah. <laughs> because there's like yeah. this, like, I, th- I think it's just an umbrella term for like people with like, is it mood disorders or something or i don't know i don't really i don't i'm ignorant on it i really don't know but like if she's giving me gabby hannah vibes with that Mm -hmm. where it's like i'm just gonna claim that i have this mental illness and therefore i can be and act however i want Mm -hmm. and you just have to accept it which and i'm here to say no Um, we don't actually (laughs) well we're not here as a good you know defense for her so that you get i mean you saw did y'all see the email that she sent me earlier today Response? No. Here, just okay. I'll share. Oh, no. I've been watching my videos. Uh, um, okay. No, I was watching earlier, and then I had to like do some schoolwork and stuff, so I stopped. Yeah, I'll know. It's, it's it's cool. It's actually pretty funny. Let me pull it up. Uh, um, oh wait, say. no, I think I did see it. No, 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 I think I did. No, go ahead, continue. Charlie's I lying. I think I did see the email. <laughs> no, I did because it was. Who's being a kiss ass, Charlie? The, the bottom part was real. Could try no, to make me look bad, dude. Really so I rude. remember that. <laughs> so no, rude. I remember that. Y'all see this? Yes, yes. The bottom part was really long. You yeah, might I, have I to read it though, it. drag. She okay. words so good. All right, and so I, I I titled it "How much?" and in the box, "Do you need?" And so, <laughs> why do you give anything? All you do is slander me and talk shit about me. You don't care. Dot dot dot. You just want more information about something to laugh at. And I said, I didn't ask for anything, did I? And she responded, no, keep laughing and making fun of the mentally ill. You are one of the most creepiest and evil people I have ever met. And let me advise you all my videos, X views, X dot, dot, dot. You are, I don't know what that means. You're going to owe me forever when it's time. All you do is hate crimes and harass protected class. <laughs> Go fuck yourself and stop contacting. All you care about is your own selfish intentions. Just go away, you psychopath. I want nothing to do with you. I hate you abusive-ass men. And hope one day you all are wiped from this earth. You abuse people for pleasure. I want nothing to do with you sick, with sick fucks like you. You never, uh, what is it? You've never done anything good for anyone. Just go away. Yeah, and then I, I replied later. I said, look, you forget that I'm mentally ill, hence why the PA pays me. I don't owe you one red cent, but if you care for your boys, you'll swallow your pride and allow someone to help. It's funny that you can put it, uh, put on an act on camera, but when someone offers to help, you turn it down. People knew you were lying and must prove it. She's crazy. <laughs> She's out of her goddamn She's mind, She's a protected dude. class, guys. She really is. She yeah. wanted to be oppressed so bad. So she funny. Does. I love that. So I, I'm bad. also loving how like anti-racism is like the new racism. I'm loving that lie. <laughs> like I'm kind of over the misnomer that like we're supposed to feel bad for people's feelings that are hurt when they get called racist and like mm-hmm. the people that actually have to endure racism. Like, bye. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to yeah. tell you. I don't care. Cry about it. I mean, that's all they're gonna do anyway. I'm not racist. I just yeah, call the people them the who N-word. get upset. The people. 
Yeah, exactly. The people who get upset about being called racist, then rather rather than figuring out why they were called racist in the first place and correcting those behaviors, but they rather focus on the fact that they were called racist. And it's just like it's a very it's a simple call, fix. Well, just be like, case, look, I, I didn't, I, I didn't know that. When, by, well, I'm not talking about it. For, I'm talking about it for being like unintentionally racist or whatever obviously if you're being like overtly racist then that's a, a whole other thing but if you happen to say something or like feed into like a stereotype that and you're not aware of why that might be racist and someone points it out to you just be like oh my god my bad i didn't know i won't do it again that's all you have to do well it's no. not like a serious it's not a serious thing she she only exactly. said the n-word once guys that's that's she only said it once isn't there like a five minute compilation of her? Yes, saying the there N-word? is. There is. I love it. I yeah, have it on Google Drive, baby. <laughs> Honestly, the I found some really gold videos. Someone... I think Shani. In the clips that I have of Shani, I think Shani has said the N word. Almost more than more you. Than I've said the N word. Yeah, that's and I what I'm saying. Long, so... Yeah, like <laughs> Shani. Like I don't actually say the N word very often. Like it's very rare. And when I watch these compilations of Shani, I'm like, damn, bitch, I think you said the N-word more than I've said the N-word. And I actually ha- it's my right to say it if you want to. It's not your right. It's just so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. They're all, they all need help. <clears throat> every single one of them. I just hope that her kids eventually can find a safe place because it's very concerning that she's still in the house with them. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently that video this morning was sent to CPS. Yeah, yeah CPS I, up. I just Next came. They did. Yeah, and, but nothing uh, happened. Yeah, the the video that she has is, is ref saying, "Yeah, they showed up. I didn't answer the door." Yeah, they claim to be avoiding them, so they they moved all the kids to the third floor because they live in a townhome, and now the townhome costs three thousand dollars a month. So they have um the garage, the I guess. The middle, which is the living, living room kitchen, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And that's where their their oldest stays downstairs. So I'm assuming they moved them all upstairs. So if In someone was knocking, no one would have said anything. Does he have a room? Yes. Downstairs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, Chantel's. She kind of lives in a like a similar. Kind of, you have to like walk up the stairs to the first floor, and that's like the living room mm-hmm. and the kitchen, and then you have to walk up the stairs for the bedrooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. the first floor is like a basement slash off. What's it like an office and a garage? Yep. Um. Also, when I think in some in Toasty or Drag can correct me again. Um, she did post, I guess she had to do like a mental evaluation with, when the whole domestic violence thing happened and then she ended up posting it on her community tab and that got yeeted really fast. But funny enough on there, the lowest thing they even said was possibly uh, BPD and I forgot what was the highest one. Uh, schizotypal, uh, disorder, I think it was. Mm Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that might have been what it was. But yeah, they, I mean, there was a list. It was a laundry list of issues, but uh, it, they the BPD was a footnote, literally like a, at the very bottom. Yeah. And it, it said, was, uh, you know, may present some, you know, something or whatever. Got that crazy. Yeah. So it makes Poor me Shannon. think like she really doesn't know what she has and and she pretends like she's just BPD and then she pretends all the health issues which she doesn't know like she claimed to have breast cancer and she was dying and she didn't know that um what? she likes to copy a lot yeah she she mm-hmm. likes to i think i might have the video somewhere she likes to copy like i read alex was dealing with the whole ms thing and then all of a sudden she had ms and then mm-hmm. her mother Talk had her. what is it that her mom had uh, cardiopathy. Yeah, yeah, and then when she got arrested, she claimed to have that. Um, Which so. is a birth defect. If you don't just get it one day. So, Toshi, do you And have she's already video? been tested for it wow. because it's hereditary. And so when her mom was diagnosed like 20 years ago, her, uh, um, Shani, and her three siblings all got tested and none of them have it. Mm-hmm. So, shocker. Mm. She's lying. Shocking. But there is a video out there of her talking about the breast cancer one. I don't know if Toasty or Drag knows where that one is. I don't know where that... it is, but I've seen it. She claims she had like three months to live. And... Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. 
Yeah. You would think you that, like, these people lie so much that they would just accidentally stumble on the truth every now and then. Mm. Yeah, they even feel with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> they even I mean, feel with that. Don't worry, guys. Shani's taking a break tonight, and then tomorrow she's going to be cooking again like nothing happened. I was, like, in Discord. I was like, damn, this bitch is about to do a little cooking show like she didn't just get fucking uh, spat on earlier in the day. That was, dude, can I tell you, like, watching that was wild. Like, I was, like, yes. blown away that, like, she just sat there and took it, first of all. That was weird to me. And yeah. then... she No, she gets then, off on it. And then she sits there and escalates things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Like, she doesn't try to remove herself. No. Or, like... She's trying to get him to hit her. Yes. That's, yes. She's actively working to, because she knows if she sits there and she takes it long enough and she continues to antagonize him, he will hit her on camera. And she is trying her damnedest to get that. And he can't see it. But based on uh, some of the stuff, like, years ago, dealing with her, it's, it's kind of become a pattern. And that's why she keeps trying to go live in the middle of these arguments, hoping that she does enough to him so that he does hit her and that she can complete the, the victim cycle. And then, of course, we'll get the, oh, my God, he's been raping me, too. Oh, yeah. That's I have so a screenshot awful. of that. She said, um, all men rape. Oh, fuck. I said the word. What? All men rape and that Jason's going to rape her one day. That's what she mm -hmm. said. Well, I would also like to say that, like, she said in her live stream that he's been watching rape porn again, and I'm like, oh my god. Hentai like, rape. red it's flag. Hentai red rape flag. Porn. Yeah, it's, it's hints. I don't, so based on some of the stuff I've heard Jason talk about, it's the porn that he's watching is hentai, but whether it's legitimately rape or whether it's the, oh my god, I'm so bad, well, no, we can't do this, I don't think Shani knows the difference. And then it is a subtle difference if you're not a, a fan of the genre. Uh, but it's it's Shani, and Shani lies, and so I'm not inclined to believe her. If she would have said the prostate party thing, yeah, well, there's some oh. evidence that he likes that. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> if I mean if he's if he's watching hentai, then whatever. But like, I think considering how Rev is, I, I don't think he should be watching something like that because well. I don't think he has the ability to distinguish like. <laughs> He, fiction from, he you did know? have a torso of a sex doll, though. Yes, he did. Huh? Yep, yeah, when he no, was living that... by himself in the uh, in that Pennsylvania house, he, he was better off with the torso. He had that house, and so he was a, he was a drunk by, at that time, and so he had he bought him because he he lost his virginity to Shanny. Yeah, that's sad. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That sucks, dude. So he doesn't uh, know any any better. We tried to warn a few of us. Con so this is back when uh, Google Plus was like still around. Some of us tried to contact him privately and go, "Dude, like, are you are you serious?" Because a part it gets weird. Uh, or I should say, a little, a little more otter. There was a trans woman named Nadia, and it was kind of an open secret that Rev had uh, a certain fascination with her that may be borderline unhealthy for him. And so when he would get drunk, he would yell kind of violent, angry, uh, like verbal abuse at Nadia and, and make very strong sexual, you know, kind of, uh, so there, there was a, there was a certain sexual connotation to some of the things that he was saying while he was drunk. So a lot of us think that, you know, in his drunken stupor, he was sort of more free to explore his sexuality and that's, that's when it would come out. So, uh, and this was confirmed because evidently G-Man found pictures of Nadia, uh, lewd pictures, uh, in Rev's home. Now, I'm not sure if that's a lie or not, but Ooh. it would surprise me. Nadia, uh, the trans woman. Uh, Dra Drag, can you, can you give me, like, a short Cliff Notes version of, like, how the fuck G-Man ended up taking their home away from them? Like, I'm twice. still, that still confuses me. The first time or the second time? Oh, it happened twice? Huh? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so if the TLDR is um, G-Man was having a hard time with someone on the internet. I, I don't know who this person is. Uh, definitely not me. And uh, Definitely not you. Definitely wasn't me. Uh, G-Man needed to sort of uh, continue his ministry, but his current location had been compromised due to uh, stupidity. Uh, and so Shani wanted to do the kind thing and to give a Christian brother a home because they had just... That wasn't hers. 
yeah, it wasn't hers to give, but Rev had wet brain, and so he couldn't make any decisions. So Shani, uh, like he was a ward of Shani, uh, technically. And so yeah. Shani began began paying for G-Man to live everything. So she gave him the house, told him how to, where it was, told him how to get in it, and started giving him several hundred dollars a month. And then uh, what G-Man didn't realize is that Shani works on, uh, let's say, loyalty and i mean complete and utter loyalty g-man started going after someone that shani cared about on youtube and so shani contacted and said hey what's going on i'm trying to you know i mean your live chat but i'm calling you you have to pick up your phone and yeah, he goes oh yes yes Shani, I, I can't uh you, i know you gave me money for the phone but i didn't pay that i paid my ministry bill and that's sort of what began the whole uh oh my god get the fuck out of my house you know that that thing uh, you can watch it transpire on the eviction saga on my on my playlist and my channel. But the second time, uh, Shani and Rev were feeling sort of dejected after they had broken up with Negs. They broken up with you know, well, kind of broken up with Tragic. So they needed allies. So they reached back out to G Man and they mended that fence. A part of that was giving G Man the house again for real. And so that was Rev's way of sort of greasing the wheels so that G Man would stay in their corner. So now they've actually done paperwork supposedly, uh, and that the house is officially G-Man's. What an idiot. And by the oh way, the house is God. paid off. You, you would imagine, like, how can people be this stupid? And they're about to be kicked out. Like, there's $6,000, uh, you know, 16000 And they have nowhere to go. 15000 Excuse me, 15000 Yeah, 15000 yeah. And behind on rent. Yep. So, it's like, it, it's just, you, you can't make this up. They are literally this stupid. <laughs> That's wild, and honestly, Wait, they deserve everything. So I just want to confirm to to have him in to have him in their corner. They potentially signed a house over to him. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Yes, Shani literally okay. called it. In that um, case, Shani called it uh, reparations. Yes, <gasps> That's exactly what she called it. And see, and, no. and what Drag left out <laughs> yes. in the first part is when Shani wanted. G-Man to get out of the house, that's when the whole, all the N-words started to come out, and that's what she was calling G-Man, and then he, she said that G-Man was going to rape her. Oh, yeah, I still got those messages. <gasps> and see, this is, and I don't like talking about this because it's very controversial, but Shani has a history of accusing people of doing that, or that have done it, and then they haven't, so she just throws it around, you know, like it's nothing. As I heard she called me a, a rapist today. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, what? Oh yeah, no. I, she usually calls me that at least once a year, and a and a you know Shoma. I I don't know anything about, you know, what you know her, her past with that or whatever. Um, so obviously I won't speak on that. The only reason I was asking, I was just going to ask Michael to step it up and I want a Range Rover in my driveway <laughs> by tomorrow because if they're giving out houses. I expect better from our friendship. Right? Michael, Wait, me? They gave him a house. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck would I have to give you yeah, anything? They gave him a house. So. You know what the best part was? <laughs> Shani, she I'll give you half a Range Rover. How about that? <laughs> she did only say... half black. Reparations. She called it rubberations. <laughs> no, reverations. <laughs> she called it. She called um. She called liposuction liposuction liper liper section today or yeah, something. it's kind of hard to say what she says. It's like, how can you be that dumb? Wait, is she? Is she trolling when she does that, or she's being? No, serious? no, she's no, being she's serious. She's kind of just a little bit, you know, she doesn't think before she speaks. Oh. And I understand some people think. get caught up in their words because I do it all the time, but she like just really talks like that. So is the reason why she's they have like fifteen thousand in debt is because of the evic eviction freeze. So like it's just stacking up mm -hmm. yeah. the rent, and then they're gonna owe it, and so they're gonna get yeah. yeah. Somebody, left in. somebody we know in, in the Discord uh, lives kind of in their area, and so they sent me. Uh, I think yeah, that's to show everyone uh, the governor's letter, and effectively there's a moratorium on evictions uh, up until a certain date. So that's why they're. I think it's like June. This. It's the yeah. end of June, so yeah. And Shani really thinks she's going to make three, $300,000 on YouTube. That's really what she deadass thinks. Well, yesterday or today, she was talking about how she put some money in Dogecoin and she's hoping that, like, it's going to, you know, <laughs> allow her to live off of it. I'm like, girl, Yikes. I can't, dude. 
Robin Hood got you, bitch. They got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving all these people that are using Robin Hood and they're like, oh my god, guys, I'm a fucking traitor now. Shut up. Go away. Well, Rev claimed oh, that's no what he shit. did. Like, that's what he did. Like, Rev has never had a job in his life. He's never had to wake up and do a nine to five, never had to do any of that because he, he was left that money. And he was also left that house that was paid off. So all you would have to really pay is the taxes on the house. So they like just really set themselves up. Like if you had that much money, my first thought was buy a house, buy land, buy something. Mm -hmm. That way your rent's not that much money. Um, it's not like Rev should have had terrible credit at that point. So it's just like he should have put everything in his name and just, you know, kept on. But no, they're paying $3,000 a month on the townhomes that, yes, it's nice, but it's not that fucking nice. So. Honestly, but, they get everything they deserve. But don't worry, they're next to I a mean, Dave and Buster's, me. so I guess it's worth it. Really? <laughs> yep. I'm so jealous. I love Dave I and Buster's. I love Dave and Buster's. I know. Same. <laughs> I have to drive like an hour to go to a Dave and Buster's. Fucking criminal, dude. I have one criminal. close to me. I actually won um, uh, two of my big Yoshis there. Oh shit. Oh sh I know. Gamer. Gamer girl. Look at you. Gamer girl. <laughs> In reality, I made my boyfriend win them for me. Oh. Um, <laughs> way to set feminism back about 200 years. Well, when, it's Can't so funny that, that like shit. meme. <laughs> That meme where it says, like, um, you don't want to work anymore as a woman, and then you start saying, oh, man, they should have never let us vote or something like that. I was like, damn, true facts. Like, yeah. let me just be stay-at-home mom. and Well, I'm, I don't have kids, but let me just be a stay-at-home cat mom and just not do anything and let my, my boyfriend work. That sounds cool to me. No, you got you to gotta have the kids so that then you got to have gravity kick in so that you can have, like, 16 feet of titty like Jenny. Oh, no, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> I like like my tits how they are. I'm still Lies. mad that she pulled them out and then flipped over the end to show me the nipple. Like, that was... That was <laughs> that's cool. She can hit you in the face with it. It's like a chain. It's like, do your titties hang low? Do they wobble to the floor? Not a chain. <laughs> There's an epidemic of, like, it women not wearing bras thing. and showering before they go mm -hmm. live, and it's a very unique, sen like, sensation that's happening right now. Yes. And, like, obviously, hashtag free the nipple, but also, like... Put a bra on. Like, Gravity it's really sheet. not that hard. No, and the, thing's, the thing is, is, she wants to be such a serious content creator. She never wears a fucking bra in her videos. And it's like, girl, put a bra on. Like, nobody wants to see you. Like, we can see that your titties are sagging. Like, your titties are not that great that you cannot wear a bra and not be noticed. Like, you know what's so I, crazy is they spent a fortune buying subscriptions to all of these, like, um, I think it was a dormy uh, bra subscription. And mm -hmm. they would send her brand new, really, really expensive bras in the mail every month. Never wore them. Never wore them. Oh, no, that's the bra fit. that smells like cat piss when Rev goes, your bra smells like cat piss. <laughs> T. Love and, that. And he thought that was a compliment, by the way. Oh, really? He got he was into it? He got turned over? And then over. she made him go in the bathroom and recant in a video. It was her pheromones, you know? It was, what? Ooh. That was smelling her Happy. pheromones. Not and then I made a video and I said, look, I just look up all the putative uh, compounds for pheromones. Guess what they don't contain? Nitrogen. Do you think Rev has the hard distinguishing between the litter box and Shani? Yes. Probably. Probably. Facts. I think. Facts. No cap. Maybe that's why he Oh my said god, facts. He, no cap. Need to cut no off printer. No translate. Translate. <laughs> yes. No bitch. translate. I, I love watching those videos on TikTok. <laughs> I was like, this bitch is really fucking feeling herself. What does she say? She goes, Ayo. The person that says you just wants you to know. It's that... time to get the game back together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how me and uh, you are just having this moment right now. Like, I don't think anybody else knows know. what we're talking about. <laughs> Everyone else is like, what the fuck are you talking no about? No idea. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do TikTok, so I don't know. from cat piss to a third language. You're missing out quality <laughs> free content, sir. <laughs> I, I, people send me videos, and I'm just like, what? No, is if like, you're missing out. My For You page no, has been expertly quality. crafted to just show me nothing but train wrecks. And Same. I love it. I love every second of it. Oh. Like I love when you see like those really like country I'm people so that have no teeth and they're just like just jamming out with their bellies out. I'm just like, damn. Mm -hmm. 
or they're like stay away from my man or whatever and it's like no problem bitch exactly no problem. <laughs> they're like i was like someone's like damn we ain't trying to steal your cousin from you i'm still trying to find the way to contact Rev so i can buy him a hooker oh yeah the, drag wants to buy him a hooker oh, oh no. does he yeah. does he still have like buy does rev still have like family that's alive still or uh, aunts in, i think an uncle in pennsylvania and yeah. they're just like whatever. <laughs> which is which is really sad because um yeah, his parents were actually like working people. Like I think I his know. dad was a teacher and his mom she did hair wasn't she a hairstylist? Yeah, she was a hairdresser. The dad was a chemistry professor in the local Yeah. Hospital. And and then they look at the look at the wow. fucking stupid son they have. Yeah, well they the mom failed. It. Like the mom willingly died of cancer. Like that's it's it, that tells me a lot right there. Or like refused treatment. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, she and she knew she had breast cancer, but she decides ah, I'm just gonna die. Wasn't you know, it because of like God? Because she was really religious or something. Yeah, that had a lot to do with it. But you know. Oh no. It's like Wait, I, I get it. You guys. So was Rev ever like normal, uh, or no. has he always been kind of like unhinged? So he's always been sort of prone to conspiracies. And I'm not talking about, hey, uh, government may have something to do with JFK, kind of, you know, mm -hmm. conspiracy. I'm talking about like in, like NWO, uh, lizard people, uh, aliens controlling the government kind of shit. And, yeah. uh, and so his uh, friends had a 5150 because uh, when uh, Obama took office, uh, he started talking about getting guns and going to do shit. So like, nope, sorry, buddy. No, you got that. No, the government might need to know about this. So. Uh, he's always been sort of on that edge, and it's just sort of been uh, uh, degrees of separation from there. I like, didn't he like call into a radio show or something? And like, no, he. No. It's Alex Jones. Yep. Oh, yeah. wow. He actually made it on InfoWars? Well, yeah, there's it a was older. And the reason why he made it on there is because of the whole 5150 and they took all his guns and you know how like Alex Jones is. And so they were like, oh my God, the disaster. Like there's actually, you can look it up on YouTube, I think. I think it's still up there, but you'll, you'll be able to find it and you can hear him. Yeah. So back in that time, he was, um, he had like a podcast somewhere online and he was making a lot of threats toward uh, politicians. And apparently it was, there was other stuff going on that his actual friends IRL uh, called it in, saying that they were afraid that he was going to hurt himself or hurt others. And so they 5150'd him and they took him in. He did like a 72 hour hold. And I don't know what happened after that, except for the fact that he claimed that it was like government conspiracy, MK Ultra. He's a targeted individual. Like, it just he just kind of rolled into the conspiracies that he was already ascribed to, so he doesn't actually like f come out and admit that his friends actually cared enough about him to want to see him get help. Instead, it's oh, well, I was a targeted individual, and so when he gets on the Alex Jones show, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about how they took his took his guns away and they they fifty one fifty him because he's apparently some special person. The government's going to waste resources putting him in a 72 hour hold. Yeah. He said that the, the, the friends were only after his money and that's why they did it, which, which made no sense. Like, what? They, none of them got anything. There was no yeah. way for them to get money, you know, from him. There was no legal right that they had to his money. So um, that's how he tells the story. Somebody in the chat wants the video. Oh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can play it on here just because I don't know I know no. YouTube doesn't you'll, like him. You'll get a copyright strike. Yeah, I, I can't play it on stuff. here, Sunflower Sky. But you literally can just search it like just search it on YouTube. You'll find it. I promise. You might be able just to type in his name in Google. He doesn't own any more weapons though, right? No. no, he was begging for one. Right? He has like fake guns and like swords and stuff. He's like, Someone bring me a gun. Someone send me. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, he can't have one legally. Yeah, because with what he did today. Okay, yeah, because with what he did today, I was hoping yeah. he doesn't own any. No, Shani just punches her wrists. No, what? she uses her fingernails. Come on, Jules. No, she said she she goes she she. Okay, this is her claim, and I'm sorry. This is a trigger warning about cutting. So if you're if that triggers you, please don't listen to this. 
Um, but she claims that no knife will pierce her skin and cut her. She's tried to kill herself a million times. And that she... All her trolls and haters made her punch her wrists. Huh? I just woke up and I just started punching my wrists. I punched my wrist. Yeah. Like, punched her she wrist? Pu yeah, she literally yeah. punched her wrist. And, and oh. like, to, like, harm herself, which I don't know how the fuck... I but think she's really, punching but, her wrist because she's like, why don't you cut kind of thing? You know what I mean? I think she means that she's pouring, pouring Kool-Aid on her wrist. <laughs> I think that's what she means. <laughs> oh, she likes the god. smell. Oh my god, that reminds me of the video they did yesterday. They How tasted... They the internet? I'm sorry? How are they... No, go ahead. I was just saying... No, I didn't hear what you internet. said. Just, you were kind of quiet. Learning a lot. Oh uh, yeah, it's they've been on the internet for a oh, no, while. I was saying, how are they on the internet? They have yeah. nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But that's... Jason is very awkward socially, from what I, uh, from what I can infer, and uh, we've seen them interact with real people, and they kind of don't know what to say. And Jason, he doesn't know how. Like he's like a child. He's really, really just incredible, like a child. So the internet is his safe space, mm -hmm. and so. He tailor his environment to people, 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 people you can just see it in like the, they did a video where they went to the grocery store you can just see how he acts in the grocery store he seems very panicked like almost like anxiety like i have social anxiety i get it but he i feel like he really thinks that people are after him and shani thinks this too but shani thinks that when she goes to the store that people paparazzi are in the grocery store taking pictures of her in reality yeah. someone's taking a picture of you because you're a big ass fucking bitch so right with no teeth <laughs> Exactly. And she probably smells. Yeah. And her hair and her makeup. Just imagine. Wow. Yeah. I'd take a picture of her too. I'm not even lying. If I saw her in person, I'd take a picture. I don't give a fuck. I'll pull the Amber Lynn shit. I mean, right, I I mean the, say. the video that they did, what is it, last week of them in the grocery store? They're sitting there bickering and arguing back and forth, and Jason's pacing back and forth like a child. And she said, Hey, can you grab me two of those? And he only gets one. And she says, can you grab me another one? I told you I needed two. He ends up slamming it in the, the cart. I mean, they're probably a spectacle you in forgot, public. You forgot, and some guys like said something to Shani, and Reb goes, Reb oh, got it yeah. in a fucking fit, and he goes, yeah, I'm her husband. I'm like, nobody wants that fat bitch. Yeah. Nobody wants her. Some, some guy was just being nice, <laughs> and, then, and he was like making, you know, just dumb small talk, you know how some people are, and, Sh and Shani smiled and was like, oh, it's so people are so nice here or something. And Rev lost it. He lost it. He was pacing back and forth. And he was like, that's my wife. <laughs> and he's just like, I don't like how he was talking. Well, and Shani goes, oh, he was hitting on me. No, bitch. Nobody was hitting. He was literally talking about, <laughs> like, fucking lasagna. And you're sitting, sitting over here acting like he was hitting on you. Like, she really thinks that everybody looks at her and thinks she's fucking hot. Like, oh, yeah. Like, That's everybody wants to fuck her. That's exactly what her mind process is. And, like, right now she's doing the whole, I'm a lesbian thing, but she has, she's married to a fucking man. Not saying he's a man, but you know what I mean. Sort of. Sort of, kind of. Um, but she just likes to pull at shit. And that's why I don't like when she says, like, um, she's for, like, uh, gay rights and stuff. Because she actually, and then Toasty could tell you more about this, is that one of her brothers is gay. And apparently when he came out, she ridiculed him and told him that he was going to mm -hmm. go to hell and the Bible doesn't say that. And so all of a sudden she changes up and now she's a lesbian. So yeah, she it... was really cruel to him. Um, he's he's uh, her youngest brother. Uh, she was extremely cruel to him growing up. Um, to this day, uh, he wants nothing to do with her. Like he, he won't speak her name. He, he won't like there's still a lot of hurt there. And so it's it's bizarre to me. It's very interesting, actually, that she's now claiming to be LGBTQ. That's just like, really? Really? Well, and wasn't there something about his job? She had to live with one of them. Do you know, remember what I'm talking about? And he had to stop doing... He had a school. He was going to school, right? Oh, he had to watch the, her kid, yeah. yeah so he had to stop going to school for Shanny. Yeah, because I think this might have been... It might have been when she broke up with her first husband, Doug. And, and she needed someone to watch the kids because I think that's one of the few times she actually had a job. So yeah, all of her grateful. siblings, her siblings and her parents have, she's lived with all of them at some point. They've all helped her in various ways. 
and it's like she's burned all of those all of the bridges she she has no one left to help her now that's the fun part because she knows that she can't go stay with her parents none of the our brothers and sisters want her she doesn't have another man lined up so she's fucked she has to stay with him now until she mm -hmm. finds uh, another uh suitable uh you know potential husband well she's also her. hiding money so mm -hmm. yeah. oh she's hiding money yeah so when i when we were talking in the dms she was telling me that she's putting aside money so she can leave rev and that she's going to leave rev when he doesn't know and that she's just biding her time and she's going to go buy a trailer and a piece of shit car and just leave him without telling him that's exactly what she told me and then she said that she was going to put him in a mental ward yeah and that's i think that's part of the the, the plan now that's why she wants him to hit her right because then she can go online oh I'm, I'm a i'm a better wife now hey you know right she I'm thinks it'll get her more super chats for sure Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, yeah. people, uh, people will. It's it's going to happen because, especially if you see it live, it's kind of hard. Like no matter what anyone says, I can say, look, folks, she's she's instigating it. She's trying to to make it happen. Like everybody sees it. I've known her for years. It's going to happen. But even so, it's going to be hard to beat the fact that hey, we have a recording. Rev hit her. Boom. He's in. He's in jail. He's locked up. Whatever. Uh, she needs to get out. So what do we do? We know that she's bullshit. We know that she instigated it, but she does need to get out. So guess what? You know, think about the kids, and it's gonna it'll come down to that. So she's smart. Yeah. Don't don't downplay her. She's actually very smart. That's wild. That is such a like. It is. That's why I was saying like it, it. There's like this new phenomenon almost where it's like these people are escalating their destructive negative behaviors to like gain clout and money and it's fucking it's wild to watch yes yeah, like yeah so you can actually see signs of it you know that super chat that i have please don't yell yeah yeah that's one of the instances she was waiting for him to do it and that's why she looks in the camera and then she backs up to put him in frame she's so awful if, if you actually watch the whole thing what? transpire you see her setting up for it and the clip that uh frank has on crew af that's why she started it in the middle of the fight. She instigated it, and then you hear him responding because now he's pissed. She backs up so he can come in frame and then hit her, and you hear her prompting him to do it. And today, same thing. She's steadily trying to continue it. The most she got now was him spitting, and she knows that's significant because he'd never done that before, ever. So she's getting close to it. So she, you're going to keep seeing her do that now. That's so crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I, while watching it, I did think like this is wild. She's not flinching like with the spitting and she didn't even wipe it off flinched. her face. And, yeah, because most people we yeah, just, like, they walk away. That would terrify me. It's almost like she has a smirk on her face without actually doing it. Yeah, because she's won. She that that's a victory for Shannon. She yeah. knows that she doesn't have too much longer to get him to do what she wants. And I guarantee you, they, they if they're watching this stream right now, Jason's probably going, that's not true, that's not true, that's bullshit. Because he believe, like he literally is yeah. that delusional that he will agree with her until like he dies on shit. Yeah, and when, when he's locked up, finally, he'll he'll realize it. He'll finally realize that she's been setting his ass up. I was going to say, he'll realize it when it's too late. Yep. He'll realize if it when he's it's even too late. cognitively that's, that's available. unfortunate. Even, I mean, if that's considering if he's cognitively able to recognize that. Like, I almost feel like he would go to jail for hitting her and then get out of jail and go right back to it. Probably. Like, because he just seems completely just out of it. Like, completely. And it's really, and I know Shani is, have, has her own issues or whatever, but it's really fucking weird to sit there and watch her manipulate these situations over and over again. And her thinking that like she's the victim in all of this, like, and then she'll just sit, she'll just like sit there and just blatantly lie, but, like that yeah. didn't happen. I wasn't talking shit about you in the bathroom to strangers on the internet, blah blah blah. And it's interesting to see him have sporadic, sporadic mem uh, moments of self awareness. Like that's very weird to see too, where he's like, where he's like arguing with her and he says something that's like bang on, like on the money. And like, she, and she has no rebuttal because she—it's almost—it almost shocks her in a way. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, for, she, you get her tone changes, and she goes, "Well, uh, well," and then and then she'll um, go to another assertion. <laughs> Toasty and um and the DMs, can you please uh, somebody sent us the um thing of the breast cancer. Can you share screen that for me? Oh, oh. shit, I was supposed to get that to you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm definitely not paying attention. <laughs> you whore. Yeah, whore. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry, guys. If you're DMing me on uh, Discord, I really am not looking at my Discord, so I'm sorry I'm delayed. I also Frank think it's really messed up to put that video behind a paywall. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. it's oh, like it. to to like to not delete it or keep it private, but to put it behind a paywall and be like, so now you're profiting off of that. You're profiting off of a man who said he's going to kill himself, you and your children. Mm -hmm. well, like what she's what? doing is that she put it behind the paywall so people can't share it. She thinks that 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 people because people got it downloaded like we've talked about and she thinks that just because she put it on a, pay, a behind a paywall that we can't review it that's because it's paid content which really it wasn't it was free to begin with so i don't know right, how right. she can do that. that yeah and, it, and she's doing her 120 shanny iq move and it's like <laughs> no shanny that's not how that works sorry dear and that's Shani's why she posted that community tab post. Yeah. She thinks she's going to scare me because obviously I'm the only one reviewing it right now. Well, I mean, I'm sure I'm, Drag did his review. I'm sure Mrs. Parker is probably going to do hers, right? And mm -hmm. the Geek Room will do theirs. And <laughs> everyone else that covers, you know, the Shanny debacle. Will, I mean, she's an idiot. Like, I, I don't understand why they, why some people can't understand. It's like, turn off the stream. Like just turn it off, and handle your shit like a normal person. It's it, get, it becomes a, an addiction, especially to, to people who, uh, I'm, where's that guy's name? Gentleman Pioneer, uh, G, one of G-Man's new uh, simps. Uh, people who are new, I've noticed that they get addicted to people targeting them uh, and right. talking about them, and they can't <laughs> help. I, I experienced this with, with mm -hmm. Cruz. Uh, he and he admitted this. He knew that I was making videos. He unsubscribed. He forced himself not to look at my stuff, but he, he admitted. He said, yeah, I broke down, and I went and I watched it, and here I am, you know, even though I said I wasn't. And so I think that Shani uh, and Rev both can't help but to pay attention when people talk about them because they watch all my shit. And they, they I, even though I've said this, I purposely repeat things just so it will stick in, in his, his lexicon. Like, just, mm -hmm. and I, I listen to almost verbatim him repeat stuff like block of Zulu. There's only one person on here that says block of Zulu. That's me. So I knew that he was watching me whenever I said block of Zulu and he gives me confirmation. And it's like, right. Right, just, just stop pretending. You don't have to lie. I already know. Right. He's not sly enough to like not let that seep in and like, you know, we're like ear weren't I can't think of the word, but like seep in his brain and it be just become of his part of his lexicon and stuff. There's a there's a quite a few people that do that too. Like Amber Lynn does that a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I can tell when she's been watching like my videos or Zach's videos or yes. whatever because she'll start using a phrase or a word yes. that she's never used before, and I'm like, okay, okay, sis. Like, but you don't watch, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, like, Josh, did you have that video? I think it to y'all. Uh, I was watching, uh, like, trying to review Chantal. Oof. She's, she's disgusting. Like I was gonna disgusting. say, she's just disgusting. Like I, I, I could like my stomach was actually hurting, watching her touch her, herself, her, the cat, the table, the food, the cat, oh, man. the table, her face, her it, farting. Just, that, yeah, I, I was She's less fucking... disgusted by the farting. I'll say that you weirdo. She just, it's just the thing that that doesn't make so sense for Foodie Beauty and me is, is she is constantly doing these disgusting habits that she she has to know. That like people are gonna have an opinion on it, and then she gets butt hurt when it's like, when it's like, dude, you sit there and you chew with your mouth open for thirty whole ass minutes, and like people are gonna call you like disgusting. I don't know what else to tell you, dude. Like, are you, oh. are someone supposed to come around and applaud you for like not having table manners or something? Like, are someone supposed to applaud you for parachuting Molly and snorting coke and then smoking meth? Huh? Love that for her. Like, and that's why I've never done. Chantel reactions really I've only done the only time I've done Chantel videos I do actually commentary videos where I like sit there and like write out a script and um pick parts because I can't sit there and listen to it it's just especially the eating sounds yeah 
All right, so this is the video. Toasty's about to play it, but it's from right. 2019. You know what? I don't need some assholes telling me what the fuck is going on in my fucking life. You know, I know. You you want to see it? Look. Does that does that look like you know not breast cancer? No, that doesn't look like breast cancer at all. That's what I'm fucking dealing with. I'm having I'm falling down. Of course, I'm gonna think about MS. I'm going to a bunch of doctors. No, I didn't have a mammogram. I never said I did. I said they looked at my breast and they said it was fine. They didn't see anything. But it doesn't mean they didn't schedule me for a mammogram. It doesn't mean they didn't schedule me for a cardiologist. I was scheduled for a cardiologist when I got out of the hospital. I'm going on Friday. So fuck you if you're going to say I'm a liar. I don't give a fuck if people think I'm a liar. Okay? I know I don't have much left in this world. And I know I'm all alone. Oh my god. I'm doing it all alone. <laughs> and I don't want no one loves me. Come to me. And like and telling me that what's going on in my life isn't happening. Because I know what's happening to me and I know it's scaring the living fuck out of me. <laughs> she had this more teeth. <laughs> no tears. You guys you guys can go and say I'm a liar and everything, but really in reality it's just I'm sick of people just being fucking cruel to me and not fucking listening to what I'm saying and fucking telling me that everything I say is a fucking lie when it's fucking not. Well, I've been fucking honest with you guys, fucking honest with you guys, and you guys keep saying I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, and, and you know what, it's just to the point, like, fuck it, I don't fucking care anymore, you know? Has she ever brushed her hair? No. Yeah. Anymore, you know, yeah. at the end. Maybe twice. Oh, they knew, she knew what chapstick was back then. Well, That's I think I've it. said this already, but she can't name a toothpaste. <laughs> like dead ass, she can't name a toothpaste. Like someone asked her what toothpaste she uses, she goes, "Oh, I don't know." But sure as fuck, ask her like what kind of ice cream she likes. She knows the fucking brand name. She knows the calories. She knows what the fuck's in it. How what the price is at Walmart? Yep, a hundred percent. Where to get the best deal? Where <laughs> came from? She's that. a bougie bitch, so she doesn't care about the price. Well, she doesn't care about it now, so. I just I love like it's it's this great shot in Freud for me because they were talking mad shit about my welfare grill and my welfare state. Oh, your Obama phones. My Obama phone. I'm just like, all right, bro. Obama phone right. kind of sounds cool. Not gonna lie. It, it' pretty shitty. No, I'm I've just seen. the name Obama phone. Like that just sounds cool to me. It sounds like banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Obama phone. Do, 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 do. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Spilt my milk. Thanks, Obama. Fuck, man. <laughs> she, I, I do love Shani, though. She she willingly lies about literally anything, even so she doesn't have to lie about. She just does because she there's a there's a there's a compulsion, and she, I think she's in she's not necessarily in control of it like I, you could tell when she's making a concerted lie like she's trying to cover her ass but i think other times she just sort of reflexively lies because she's just used to it whereas mm -hmm. rev rev really wants to lie to make sure he looks good so he's he's there's some forethought yeah he, she tries to come up with it it's like the colorado uh, colorado japan shit, right that's a concerted lie from rev but then he goes to so far as to say well you know what? i have a policy it's my cya policy and that's why I'll just lie to cover my own ass. Okay, bro, that then cool. But he gets mad when people don't believe him. And it's like, but you've already established to us that you will lie. Right. So you expect people just to believe you now? Come on. I, I mean, Amber Lynn does the same fucking thing. And it's like, you can't lie about stuff that there's video proof of you doing. It's so dumb. So it's like, Either you need to be smart enough to remember your lies so you can keep perpetuating them or just stop lying, which yeah. is the easier thing to do. Oh my but... god. <laughs> what? Um, I I really I'm gonna send it to Toasty because she is the one screen sharing for me. 
But there is a video of Rev that he had no hair, and I really want you to see it. Oh boy! Uh, like, uh, like this. broadcast, Charlie. Huh? Charlie dropped out. She's back. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I didn't kick her out, guys. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh fuck! No, yeah, I don't know. Something. My phone just shut down. It was weird. Sorry. Oh, it's yeah. Shani. Shani's God's anointed, so you made your phone shut down. So. <laughs> we started talking about Obama phones, and my phone just shut down. Oh weird, fuck. <laughs> Okay. That was a joke, man. Yeah, just send me the, the video you want. Oh my god, this one's funny. I love this video. Hold on. <laughs> I think it has. Oh, what? I fuck it. I'll fix it later. Hold on. I want to put it in the private chat. Uh -huh. Alright, I'll put it in the private chat. There's the, the fucking video of this bitch wearing a Confederate flag hoodie. Making black jokes, and she's not racist, guys. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's the old video, yeah. I know a couple other people that like to wear Confederate memorabilia and then claim they don't. Bags? Which is being racist. I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't put me in that. Sometimes you get stressed and you have to take long breaks from YouTube because. You yeah, know. I don't know who that is. It's hard out here. It's tough on these it's YouTube streets. No, it's hard <clears throat> out here for these crackheads. Tea. You know? All right. Oh, don't, okay, guys, don't it. laugh too hard when you see this. All right. I'll try my best. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot about the, yeah. He was. He did oh. shit. That's right. Look, look how big Shanny is compared was to him. Was he going through his um? Oh my god, what's the name of that girl in the wheelchair that wasn't actually sick? Uh, oh fuck, um, 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 motherfucker, I know who you're talking about, I love that oh, show. Oh god. Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it was, um, god, I, don't, don't type it, I had to guess, um, it Titty was, Sprinkles. Uh, who? Titty Sprinkles. Shut the fuck up, drag. Um, it was, um, <laughs> god damn it, I hate myself that I can't remember this, it's, um, it's, Chick-fil-A. It's Gypsy and Dee Dee Blanchard. Fuck! It was, I knew it started with a G. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Did you watch the Hulu show? You gotta show oh, the screen. Absolutely. Oh, fuck. Did I? I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm I'm a bad YouTuber. We didn't play it yet, so you didn't miss anything. Okay, sorry, guys. Don't cancel me. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa Earth. We can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like raging, we can't see it. <laughs> it okay. wait, hold on. Wait, before okay. we start, Lola, I keep put hiding it because if I don't, I'm only using one screen, and if I don't, then you're gonna see everything I'm doing. Uh oh, all the Yoshi porn. Yes, all the Yoshi <laughs> porn on my computer. You ready? New look. New look. New life. New life or new? Ooh, it's not even a even new shave. <laughs> Oh, this was like three weeks after she moved in. And happiness. Is he still drunk in this? Yes. A lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. God. Yikes. That is yeah. funny as shit. That, what you, that's what I, I would think. watch that video. I bet that so, video is interesting. So the, oh. the other playlist that I have is the Shani and Rev Marriage Saga. It, it pretty much goes over how they got together. And that's actually where I'm at right now when she finally moved in. Because as soon as they as soon as she moved in, she started sucking his dick. And then he started becoming super um, simp after that. I'm sorry. Like, Did you see the porn? She sucked his dick and it was still soft. Okay. Look, she was okay, just like. Dude. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, like, he's never had a, a blowjob, so he thinks that that's normal. I bet yeah. she gives the most toothy, jagged blowjobs ever. <laughs> oh. You know? Oh, but wait, there there's is. more. Have you have you ever watched a dog try to, try to like, lick up a bone instead of biting it? They're just trying to move it around with their tongue? Oh, no. You ever see the dog do that on the ground? That's what, that's what it looks like when she gives head. So Yikes. he has a, um... He has a a, a piercing. A, it's a, he has a Prince Al, It's a Prince Albert, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, you, you look at the proportion of it. Compared to the <laughs> yeah, just, that's just huge. I'm like, all right, bro. I oh, Michael, you time. really haven't seen any of his. You really haven't seen any of the only. I try. 
I actively have tried not to try. I don't know. I don't know why y'all are like coming at me like, oh my god, you haven't seen the porn. No, I haven't haven't fucking seen it. I'm a normal human fucking being. You haven't seen Shanny Squirt? No. (laughs) I've seen her in the bathtub where she looked like a raw turkey. I've seen that. Yes. (laughs) Oh my god, she definitely did. It looked like a whole raw turkey, like getting dropped and or lowered into one of those like hot oil things to get fried. Oh yes. Um, it's but okay, no, cause... I don't actively search for Shani for Christ's porn. <laughs> I, I've been I forced I'm to good. see it. Mike, I got you. Um, I'm trying to be able to second. still get hard on that night, okay? <laughs> like a pile of mashed potatoes. Oh, man. I'm telling you, Michael, it's a masterpiece. It's really something that I've never oh. seen before. It's... Y'all bragging about watching this like it's a good thing. Like, the fuck? I'd rather get waterboarded. <laughs> me, uh, Jello, don't worry, I got you. Others, I got we, you. We watched it and we tried to eat, and I couldn't get hard for like three days. Like Ooh. it was that bad. Okay, don't worry. Okay, are y'all looking? I for mean, screen? I'm already in therapy. Okay, I don't need like I have enough trauma. <laughs> are you looking to at the screen? Out. Yeah. You're not gonna show the porn on here, no. are you? <laughs> no, no, it's a screen. It's what she I said. Mean... Do you, can you read that? It's just a black screen. Oh, wait. Well, oh, should... is it in the private chat? No, no, no. It should be on the stream. I, I put it in the private chat. No, we can't see shit, Jules. It's a black screen. How is it? I see it fine. Oh, there it is. It says, I had sex with Jason. Couldn't help it. He started to kiss and lick my butt. And one thing happened to another. He's just so g- damn good in bed. I'm such a whore. I heart find that hard to believe. There is no way Jason is eating the booty like groceries, and I would never no, he, go near that hole. No, no, no. Well, in the in the porn, in the porn, he does do it. He does try yeah. to stick a finger in there. So, are his fingers oh, even big enough for that? Look, when his he was dick is not her, even big enough. When he was trying to clap her cheeks, that was probably one of the most frustrating scenes of porn I've ever watched in my life. Yes. What? Oh yeah, he, yeah. He couldn't oh, get I a handle. That. Like, if, if you ever watched a, um, a kid try to climb up on a chair and they don't know where to grab, and they're just sort of just grabbing <laughs> that, 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 was him. that was him behind her because he kept trying to find, like, where the crease is at the top of the leg and where the butt starts, right? You grab that and you, you go at it, mm-hmm. right? But he couldn't do that because the, that crease wasn't there. It was, it was just mass. And so you see him trying to mold sections, like, of the top of her ass into handles, and he gets a good grip. But then he can't hold it, so he tries to find that crease again, and he gets frustrated. And then you can see he clearly loses his erection. He says, "Oh," and he has to back up and start he, he start eating again. And then all the time oh she's, oh, woo, ah, woo, ah, and she's still moaning like he's doing something, even though we, he's clearly outside of her, like he's not penetrating her, and she's making the same sound. So I'm like, bro, this is just sad. Like I, I can't. I, he he had a hard time maintaining the erection. Which was struck, which was painful. Then trying to get a hold of her, and then finally for the the finale, the cream pie that had one of the most pathetic scenes I've ever seen in my life. And I'm a huge fan of cream pies, but that right there disturbed me. Oh no, that's terrifying. It was. It's it's fantastic. I love this content. <laughs> There's a lot of lore I see. Oh. It is. Michael, if you click that link that I just put in there, there I did. Is. I saw that. Yeah. I, a part of me wonders is like, because I oh, I almost clicked it. I've known like men or whatever that get PS. I wonder if he's trying to like stretch his dick out. Like, do you he just weights on it? He's actually said that. He's actually said that by having it on there that he's gained length from that. He hasn't. He's like three inches. Hard. Yes, Not hard. hard. Yeah. He's three, yeah, that, three inches. That picture is full mask. It's Literally. like coming at you with an ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he's five and, and three quarters. Yeah, I think oh. that's what three quarters. And I would like to mention, that's where the baby, and that's five where the baby carrot song came from. <laughs> yes, I would like to mention that Shani has this weird obsession with Becky. And I've she, noticed that she really wants to fuck Becky and Amberlynn at the same time. She thinks they're so hot, and I'm just like, no, I don't even, I don't even know how y'all would fit in one bed. Like you would have to like be on the floor. Like 
I, I don't understand the weird obsession with her, but she does have an obsession with Becky. Yeah, no. And then she does have a weird obsession with Rev and Nikocado Avocado together, and Rev's like, I'm not gay! Well, I've seen him gape his asshole, and I have questions. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty oh. sure he she's pegged right. him before. I want to know who took that picture. Which is, you know... Yeah. Didn't he say? You didn't know she what? say this in the exactly stream why that? I, stick to I know, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to like have night terrors, like you know. I I'd, I'd rather Amberlynn lie about Weight Watchers for the billionth time, time. than any of this shit. <laughs> exactly. I desensitize uh, myself to this. T like, but um, didn't he say like? Oh, one of my favorite things from. The, Oh no, didn't Shani say that some guy offered her $125 for a private video and then she like pretty much just vol like volunteered neg or volunteered rev to like fuck her for the video or something? <laughs> Suck his dick or something like that, yeah. That is so weird. Could you imagine if the genders were reversed in that and it and Shani was a man and she and he like he said to the like the person like, "Oh yeah, I'll do a porn with my girlfriend for $120 without even asking her." Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna like, need oh, more so than that. Why, why are we setting up the camera? Oh, no, no reason. No reason. You know, just go ahead and do what you're gonna do. Just for fun, you know? Yeah. And, and also, I love low key Rev can read like really well. Like, he's like, like the library was open this morning, and there are a couple times where like he called her disgusting oh, or something, yeah. and she was like, Well, you fucked me last night. And he, and he immediately goes, Ugh. I and know, I'm that like, was my oh favorite my part. Like, just like, damn, Rev. Like, Who would want to fuck me after that? <laughs> right? That, that I had to pause. I was like, the man has a point. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. My favorite was uh, during the 20 hour stream, what was it, March, where um, they're having an argument and she's like, well, fine, I'm going to go downstairs. And he's like, where are you going, Shani? Everyone knows you can't walk. <laughs> Also, like during like, the argument, he was like <laughs> imitating her walking, oh, but we couldn't shit. see it. I wish we could have seen. I want to see what he his imitation of her walking. See that kind of rev, man. I'd watch that. Damn. I mean, I don't know. It's but, funny. But I made a video, funny enough, because I just did it to fuck with Shani, and I was like, I played that song. I was like, I could take your man if I want to, but lucky for you, oh I don't God. want to. And she definitely saw that video and it wasn't her feelings about it, so. I mean, can you blame her, though? Like. Well, the best part is she doesn't know what I look like. And like Drag said, I think she thinks I look like, like, a, I don't know, a morbidly obese, like, I don't know. I, I guess ugly. I don't know. Because she's hotter than everybody. Like, today she was roasting some girl for having, like, the... You know how some people have, like, the shape, half-shaved head? Or, like, the... Whatever. She was, like, roasting the fuck mm -hmm. out of this girl for no reason. I'm like, you're sitting over here saying, like, you're protected class because you're... Like, people are fat-shaming you. Yeah, <laughs> right. I love well, that. Well, and that, and that was the whole argument when I went on there. And on g Man stream, when I was under the name Freedom... She was like, um, so you're fat shaming me. And I said, yeah, you're racist. And it was like, oh, oh, I should get over um, her racism, but it's worse to fat shame her, pretty much. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm really getting over this false equivalency that like fat shaming is on par with racism. Like, it's ridiculous. Exactly. I've literally heard someone make an argument saying that fat shaming is worse than the Holocaust. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I remember that. I remember I've that. heard that argument. I feel like I, I know who believe. said that. Yes. And I just lives in a trap believe. house. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and the thing is, the argument I and made I with her. These things. Yeah, and the argument I made with her, I was like, you can change your weight. You can't change your race. Right, and, and exactly. so of course G Man kicked exactly. me out of the stream because I was speaking facts, and and she was over here saying the N word six times to me, and that I'm, and her also her other point is that I'm a white little I'm a little white girl, and I shouldn't it, it doesn't affect me, so why do I care about it kind of thing? 
it's always her point that I'm a little white girl, but, so but, why do I care? A, can I just point out? Can I just point out? I, I no, you can't. Love when and when I say love, I'm being sarcastic. I love when racist people try to gaslight and completely discredit black people when they speak on racism. But when a white person does it, because we do need those voices, whether people realize it or not, then they're discredited. Like, who are you to say that you're not even black? Well, you're not listening to the black people. You're not listening to the people of color. You're discrediting us and trying to you know, minimize our voices or say we're using the black card or the race card. And then when someone who is not black speaks up, it's pretty much like, who are you? You don't have any authority to call this racist or... So which one is it? Who is allowed to call this out? No one is allowed. Yeah. Yeah. I've it, always it, wanted to know I've always wanted to know that answer. There is no answer. The answer is that they want to be able to like sit and still be able to say the fucked up things that they've been saying for probably de- decades at this point. So it's like they don't want to be held accountable for their, their actions and their words. No, according to Shani, racism was solved in the 90s. <laughs> right. Or I love when people like when people like oh my bring up the Civil Rights Act or whatever. They're like, "Well, we 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 solved racism with the Civil Rights Act." It's like, "Oh my god!" No, it was like, Obama who brought it back. That's exactly tea. what happened. Obama invented racism. <laughs> you heard it here first. Shit. Cancel Obama. Yeah, I'm gonna love when people someone clips this out and like it sounds weird. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're doing it as we speak. Oh my, oh my god, I love my, I love my viewers. Thanks, fans. <laughs> wink, wink. Thanks. I'm, one of the wildest things that I learned from last year is that people can actually have a two to three hour live stream off of one singular tweet. Yep. Or <laughs> one singular Oh my god, she said she liked, she liked like... Chinese food. <laughs> Ooh, it's so weird. Going live in ten, it's guys. So you better get you get better get that fucking Nazi bitch to create the photoshops for us really quick. <laughs> 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 I mean, shots I mean, fired. I mean, that's what I her mean, bitch ass gets for blocking me. Like she's a little pussy ass bitch, like dead ass. And then she brags about people that block her like it's a fucking badge of honor it's so weird exactly i will never understand people that are like they take a screenshot of their block and they're like ha ha i won it's like okay that's so weird it's just a little like can you just well my favorite is when they said um oh you have nothing left to say yeah bitch you blocked me the fuck right (laughs) (laughs) that too like, I understand, and it's, like, sometimes it's, like, guess what? I don't want you, like, fucking up my notifications and my replies all fucking day, because this is yes. all you do. Uh, like, go do something else. Like, make a YouTube channel and fucking do that, at least. God damn. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fuck. You out here doing this for free and shit? Hold on, Come let me on, move back dude. to my mom's <laughs> house. That's what I'm saying. And I can, I can do that for you. <laughs> I'll move back to my Jeez. mom's house, and, um... Wow, Jules, Jules is really out here trying to get us so <laughs> fucked, dude. I can't. She's really trying. She's like, I'm gonna make. She's like, I'm gonna get so many live streams made about Michael and Charlie right now. Just watch. Pretty much. Jesus. But I just want to make something perfectly clear. I'm responsible for me, and I've said that for so long. I'm responsible for me. No, no, that doesn't work, Charlie. You can't do that. It's... You and no, I we know, are a monolith. No, you no, are no, me. No. I am you. <laughs> what uh, you really said is. I'm Charlie, and I am for this message. That's exactly what you said. Yeah, you condone everything that everyone says <laughs> ever. <laughs> Every Twitter troll that's ever said anything you agreed with. In fact, you went beyond agreeing with them, Charlie. You actually told them what to say. No, beyond that, you took their account from them, tweeted it, and then gave it back to them. That's what I mean. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm on. Okay, so right now, dra- like, I'm on Drag's really payroll. So, Charlie, you want to add me to your payroll? That'd be nice. Yeah. Just Crime let me know where I have to file boss, my taxes. Charlie, I might as well. I want to. I really do want to accomplish this level of mob boss that people think I am because I want to actually benefit from this imaginary land. The level of planning that people think I go into, and I'm just like, I did what now? I cultivated well, what? 
by I asking love... someone if they're okay. Well, I mean, Charlie did, you know, freaking kill my bunny, so. T. I just love that you are simultaneously a criminal mastermind, but also the dumbest fucking person that's ever walked on this planet. You're like, so it, talented. You're so, like, yeah. Like, it's just, it's just so weird. It's such a fucking weird thing. Like, <laughs> it's like, do you not think that, like, people just don't like you because you're unlikable? Like, and other people see that? Like, it, that, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. No, you it's know so what's weird. my favorite? You know what's my favorite? When someone, uh, say someone else, a different creator, gets criticized for something they do and their response is but was it okay when charlie what does that have to do i with know anything? that's such a toddler what fucking he hit me first <laughs> like, it's like shani saying you know but but why aren't you arresting him he hit right. me first and her right. fucking two kids are sleeping so if you yeah. both got arrested where the fuck would they go it's the same mentality do you think that they like her kids have gotten like used to just all of the ruckus and stuff, and so they just like that's all they, they know. can sleep through anything now? It's all they it's know. It's just all dysfunction, you know what I mean? Like, it, I I don't like to like try to diagnose the situation. I a hundred percent believe that they don't know anything else besides what their mom, because their their mom's been like that their whole life. Mm-hmm. And I know the youngest is autistic, and he you can hear how the way he sounds. And sometimes, like, in the, like they did a cooking live stream, you can see him on the staircase. And the way that he moves is kind of like he, like, moves his hands a lot. So I don't think he is really all the way there, as in, like, he doesn't understand the situation. So he's pretty innocent. Oh, fuck. That scared me. Sorry. The, fuck, that really did scare me. <laughs> the thing uh, someone Wait, subscribed and it went off um so i have like this oh. thing set on obs if someone subscribes this uh yoshi things goes off and it just was like so, oh sorry mm. yeah, that's fine. and i was gonna add to that too like um say if they were able like somehow to get to a safer home a safer environment the amount of therapy that they would need to accept that type of environment is actually sad to think about too because when i was placed in foster care um one of my foster homes which is the only one i really talk about was genuinely the best experience that i like it was kind of what you see on tv Mm -hmm. it was you know us eating dinner together asking me how my day was actually asking me about my feelings and for a long time, because um, I had to take therapy while in foster care, you know, to do everything. And um, I didn't trust my foster parents because I thought they were up to something because I'm like, no one's this nice. No one actually cares about my day. No one actually really wants to hear my voice. So I can only imagine with them, even if they do get to the point where they can be safe in a, in a loving environment, the everything they would have to go to through to accept the love that they deserve. Because they're children, they're innocent. They don't deserve the parents that they have, you know? And it's unfortunate, and that's what I hate when it comes to children, because children are innocent. They deserve to be loved and protected. And when you choose, when you choose, because it's a choice, when you choose to bring a child into this world, your job is to love them, protect them, and prepare them for the world. And yes. if you don't do all three, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, you're failing as a parent. Damn. And that's not the fault of the children. That's the fault of your own. And Shani is failing as a parent because if anyone, I don't have children yet, I will someday, if anyone was to threaten my child while we're in the same household, before you finish that sentence, you'd be out the door. Right. We'd, I'd die. For, first of all, I'd die for my goddaughter. And that's not, you know, my child. So imagine what I do for my children, my own children. There's no way I'd let anyone harm them or threaten them more than once. If you threaten my child once, that's the last time you should threaten my child because that's the last time you'll be around my child or around me. And the fact that they're still in this household, after this man threatened that he could possibly kill you or your children, is wild to me. That was not performed. I'm still stuck on that. I'm still stuck on the fact that this man sat on a fucking live stream and threatened to kill this woman and her children. Yeah. I mean, even I have a DM where it says, uh, 
Rev says if the cat is killed, blame it on your psychotic children. What the fuck? I don't wow. know. Whoa. At this time, he was he he didn't have money for cigarettes, so he wasn't smoking at the time, and that's what she blames it on. But I don't really know what the deal was. So I don't. I mean, he tells a lot of people to fuck off and die. So I'm kind of used to it at this point. They love that. It's so Christian of them. Oh well, and the best part is like their simp G man. It's he likes to call other people out for shit, but yet. He did a whole live stream, like, doxing drag and his child, saying his child's name and how he was going to go to the, the kid's school and call the school. And Excuse me? The kid's school, yeah. yeah. G-Man said he was going to call wait, drag's so kid's school. He was um, going to go to your child's school. He was going to yeah. call it, or in, whatever he said. But he did threaten to call the child's school, and he said the child's name, and the child's obviously a minor. What? Um, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he took down that stream, but I remember that. And trust me, I made some phone calls after that. Uh, so. Uh, oh, yes. baby, listen, I don't. Oh, I don't. Bl- Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, and the funny thing is that I still have that stream. So, so I, I have a copy of that stream, too. And, and trust me, there there stuff that can happen to him in due time. Let's say that. And I'm not going to talk about it publicly for obvious reasons, mm-hmm. but trust me. That'll be the last exactly. time something like that publicly. I'm gonna make sure of that. Yeah. Ooh, he has, baby, he has no idea what line he crossed ooh, for me. Ooh. He has no idea. Well, he thinks that ooh. me and Burnt Toast were underage and he was like hitting on Burnt Toast, which Burnt Toast is a married woman. Yeah. And he was hitting on us and like saying, like, oh, I need to show him my birth certificate. I'm like, You're yeah. a weird fuck, dude. Yeah, he hit on me over and over and over on a live stream in front of like 100 people and he wouldn't he just would not stop and even after the stream was over he he'd pop in live live chats and hit on me and um he kept asking me to go to burger king with him i was like what and um and then eventually when i guess some of his enablers were, were like right like she's married just stop it this is not a good look for you then he got mad and started telling people that i was 16 Mm-hmm. I'm like that doesn't help you at Not all. At all. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't say that doesn't any, help in any way. He doesn't have any scruples. Like he'll he'll literally say anything. He's defended pedophiles, so it, it, that, yeah. nothing's well, out of bounds. He defends a man who got his kids taken twelve times and thinks that yeah. he's the Punisher and that mm-hmm. he created a rocket for NASA. <laughs> Like, on, honestly, like, and then, like, the thing is, is the mm. only thing he disagreed with, which I was kind of surprised with, Von Helton claimed that he had the slave owner's phone numbers. Yeah, that was fun. I <laughs> <laughs> got in that discussion, too. And I repeated it. So I said, oh, yeah, you have you have their phone numbers on? Yeah, on a PDF. Oh, okay. That makes it better. Jesus. Oh. And he, oh, and Von Helton also claims that majority of slave owners were black. More misinformation, but he uh-huh. didn't care. In the yeah. South. In the South. And I had just made a video yesterday and posted it, and he flagged it, and I just appealed it, and it's back on my channel, but it kind of gives a, an entire timeline from I saw you post it. I actually have to watch it. I have yeah. to watch it. It's really good. I saw it, and I was like, oh. It goes over his views of um, slavery, racism, uh, BLM, George oh, yeah, Floyd, everything. This. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely Vaughn. Vaughn likes to flag anything that's uh, that points out his bullshit. And I, I have a habit. Anytime I hear Vaughn say something wrong, I send him a message on Skype and I remind him. Well, yeah, I didn't appreciate that too much, but oh well. I'm sure they always hate being called out by their for their bullshit. They hate that. Of course. The most. Um, Kimmy, you're not banned. I'll ban you. I'm, okay. Oh, on it. Well, I'm just I telling you right now that Chani is gonna be very pissed. Um, and it was funny because uh, the other stream, and? huh? I was like, and. Well, I just think it's, it's gonna be funny because I can't wait to hear about this shit. Exactly. Jules, Jules, you're a little girl, Jules. And She's I just, just want to be so mad. I just want to be clear too, just in case Chani is confused about. You know why I choose to first of all fully support this channel 
and fully support the creators that are on this panel, including Mrs. Parker that's in the chat. Hey, Mrs. Parker. And um, Frank, I see you too, boo. Now, um, Shannon, just so we're fully clear, you ain't shit. You ain't never going to be shit. You want to sit here and constantly talk about black people. Mind you, you're a white woman. You are you are in a position to actually make it further in life than the rest of us, and you still ended up being a bum bitch that will never accomplish <laughs> shit. I just want to make sure you are very clear on my views on you, Shannon. You are nothing. You will never accomplish nothing, and that's by choice. That's the sad part, because you can make it further in life, but you choose not to. You choose to sit here and be racist against people who will make it further than you, who try more than you, because that's the only option that we have as black people is to make sure, and people of color, to make sure we make it out here. So you being the bum that you are, next to a, uh, a white man at that who's also a bum, who let you, out of all people, with your sloppy pussy, sit there and make him go broke. Make him go broke. The fucking, no, you should be ashamed of that. That's who made you go broke? Bitch, that's who made you broke? I can understand you have Mrs. Parker make you go broke. I've seen what Mrs. Parker looked like. But you had Shani make you go broke? You right. should be ashamed of yourself. You should seek help just for that reason alone. That you allowed Shani, Shani to manipulate you to have you go broke. Imagine. Imagine. So, I, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. At that Sorry. point, just over. Like, amongst those guys, it's like, you know, if, if he was dating an Instagram model, right, and there's a certain lifestyle that she had lived up to and he was trying to keep up with the Joneses and all that shit, you know, I would feel... You know, I, I say, you know, I get it. I get this Instagram model, but it's Shanny. It's Shanny. Like, <laughs> why? And it's she, she worked him. She worked his ass for years. And she made him think that what she has is, you know, what every other woman has. And he won't get any better. So he's convinced. And he thinks that that fucking toothy, half ass blowjob is what all women do. And, you know, just all that nasty, sloppy, smelly, nasty crab legs ass. <laughs> that's what all women have but it's not true hmm. and she said more than once that there was that bitch surprise. looks like walking gonorrhea like she looks like she <laughs> has an STD oh <laughs> man if, if an STD if an STD had a like you know if you could put a picture to an STD it would be Shani she looks like she's battling multiple STDs at once and that's the bitch that made you go broke well I mean her dad is it. wild her dad said that he had to take her there to get um to the uh, clinic to get tested all the time. Oh yeah, that was funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was Ew. Funny. Uh, like your dad had to damn. take you multiple times. God damn. Should we mention that when she was an adult, she slept with a minor? Shani looks like a what? like the villain from Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, you talking about my super chat? Yeah, yeah, my my I think my thirty eight dollars super chat. Yep, you're you're a big baller my dude <laughs> that sounded, okay guys that sounded really white i apologize i'll take that back <laughs> that was racist actually oh fuck That's how dare you racist. how dare you use aave at us like my god the audacity the audacity <laughs> the audacity <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> wow drag you are so baller i try baller oh my god <laughs> Like totally, uh, like totally baller. <laughs> Let me see if I can I can play it real quick. It's rape. It's called statutory rape. Having sex with an underage person is statutory rape. Period. Because their minds aren't able to make decisions right. Good. I found her in bed with a fifteen-year-old, and she was an eighteen-year-old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I had to chase a naked fifteen-year-old boy out of my house. This is a test. Super chat alert for $39.98. That's wild. It's great. I but love But also, that. wasn't Shani today saying that a 14-year-old boy is a man? Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? Isn't that That's fucking so weird? weird. Yeah. It's weird how that works. Mm -hmm. It's very telling. This, this like, I'm not, I don't even want to call him a motherfucker, but he can't even fucking drive. Are you fucking kidding me? Talking about he's a man. Yeah, then tell him to pay the bills. Tell him to do taxes. But hey, get a job. I think he's going to be the only one in the house working. <laughs> well, I have to. He's going to work in a dispensary. Dispensary. I wouldn't trust her. <laughs> I wouldn't trust those people around anything. I got bacon soda. I got bacon soda. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Her cooking streams are so bad. I hate, you know what? I'm really over all of these people copying Foodie Beauty. Like, she really revolutionized Death Chairs in And you know what? Like, normalize not being able to stand while you cook, but like, also, like, does it have to be a desk chair, too? Like, can't you get, like, a different kind of chair, though? Listen, like, lit? listen. So she bought a pink gamer girl chair. This bitch broke it in a day. That's why she's mm -hmm. the brown Shut one. Up. I yep. swear yeah. to fucking God, she literally oh, bought a what? pink gaming she girl chair, the, and she um... broke it. Yeah. From where? I, from Sitting on it. Amazon. Oh, wait, no, she bought off Amazon. No, like, like it was brand. A, it, it was actually a nice gaming chair. Like, I didn't look shitty. Um, and this is funny because they knew they were going broke, but they're continuing to buy gaming chairs. They bought a three hundred dollar desk that like mm -hmm. goes over the bed, like a, it's almost like if you were like in, I don't want to say hospice, but if you're like in the hospital, it goes over your bed, so you can like oh, put yeah. stuff. I don't know what and they're it, called. And it doesn't tip over. Yeah, so it was like a three hundred dollar thing, and she has that right now because she can't get out of bed. I mean, I've seen her walk around the kitchen pretty fine. Yeah, she she walks a whole lot better than she likes to. Admit. I love when she grabs a hip to make it look look like oh my my back. I'm like bitch, like if you this, lost some weight, the fuck. Like this morning when she was in the bathroom, or whatever. Rev was like, hey, can I use the bathroom? And she sprung right up and walked right into the no wincing, no nothing, just yep. walked right into sure the did. bed. Plopped She's during the down. cooking streams. During the cooking streams. She'd be like, oh, I need to get something. And she immediately gets up and goes to the sink and is washing something. And I'm like, I know I know people that have RA that have really bad physical ailments that physically make it difficult for them to get in and out of chairs. They don't get up as, as quick as that. Right. It's like, mm, I think she's exaggerating because she wants the title of disabled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, cause, well, I also think she wants to get disability. Right. But that's... I think that's the only way that she... <laughs> Not how it's going to work, though. Foodie Beauty got a gaming chair as well. Oh, that's right. She did. Oh, mm. yeah. She didn't put it together yet, right? She hasn't put shit together. She hasn't done shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, she doesn't even sleep. She well, she, she, she isn't sleep. shit, so... She yeah. lives in shit. All of, oh. Can we talk about said, Pete's for Charlie... a second? I mean, yeah, Ooh. absolutely. His fucking likes on Twitter, they're wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're fucking... The, the I... art he's getting commissioned? Who? Huh? The art he's getting commissioned to? The, yeah, like, the, like it's all random ass shit. I'm just like, damn. Yeah. Just put it out there for everybody. I don't know. I just... He's I felt bad for Pete for a little bit, but now I'm kind of like, y'all deserve each other. Oh, no. Yeah, no longer. I don't feel bad for him. Yeah. It's, it's kind of it's... like how I started out with Becky. I used to feel bad for Becky. And I've now never felt like, bad for oh, Becky. you know what you're doing. Um, Becky, the first, I, I thing Becky the first thing Becky messaged to Amber Lynn Reed was like, I'm just checking on you because I thought you were going to kill yourself. The fuck? Wow. That, Alan, that's I a did pickup line picture. if I've ever heard one. I did see the picture, Alan. I replied. Sorry. Yeah, I I have mixed feelings. Yeah, Red, bad, but, yeah. uh, like I've seen him before, Shani, mm -hmm. and I've seen like just sort of just hey, you know, he's talking, chatting with her, and you know, she's like anyone else. And then once he got with Shani, her influence on him uh, has a big impact on his behavior, and so I'm trying to make sure that I stay. Uh, as objective as I can, but after the shit that he had said to the, about the kids today, I was like, no, bro, no. If it's like, so if he had said, I feel like I'm going to go crazy and I don't want to do something crazy to like hurt you and the kids, I would understood that. Like that would have made perfect sense because he's cognizant of what can happen if you know someone has a mental break. Right. Uh, but it's the fact that he just he's like, oh no, I'll just kill you and the kids myself, and, and it's like like how casual he was at the idea of harming that family yep. and that to me just sold a level of callousness that it's hard for me to empathize with well i also love how like he was saying that he was gonna hurt himself in them and then she was like well we, you can't go to the hospital because we don't have gas money yeah. don't oh, waste yeah. the gas i'm like huh yeah bitch leave the house what? and then lock the door what? behind him the fuck yeah so <laughs> weird i don't think she wants Wait, him to get help though 
No, oh, not at all. He is, he's, he's hard yeah. to control. If he gets it's help. very obvious, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, she would undo everything that the psychiatrist and the doctors would try to help him with. She'd undo yeah. it all because she'd be like, I know it's right for mm -hmm. you, Rev. I worked in a fucking group home or something, and I know everything about psychology. Like, you should take this and this and this and probably end up, like, fucking him up even more, honestly. She is the most unhelpful person I've ever seen. Like it's it's wild the like the theories and the like the knowledge that she claims to have and spews and it's just so much misinformation on like every level oh she's a master of every topic every subject 100 percent, guys oh, I just realized it's always the people who, who've never done it it's always the people who's never done it or have never accomplished something that knows that know it all that, gets, that, that what you're supposed to do what how you're supposed to do, act what, yeah it's so weird yeah and it's just like but you haven't done it that doesn't make sense like why would you give this advice it's odd but right it's, you're killing your channel thing. blah 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 bitch your, channel's been your channel needs to your channel hasn't even been born yet shut up yeah <laughs> <laughs> The it's fuck? still a fetus. It's still a fetus. Like, why are you? At least I'm a toddler. You're still a fetus. So, what right. Is, I what? just hate that. You shouldn't <laughs> be doing this. So... It's like, shut up, dude. Go do something. Go make some money somewhere. Make money. All right. I'm going to go. I need to eat dinner. That's fine. I'm probably about to end the stream. So, yeah, let me head up to you. Thank you so much for having yeah. me on, guys. Thank if you, you for coming, guys. If you want me to come guys. on and talk shit about Shani for Christ, I'm always available. Yes. Um, Yay. Cool. That goes for anyone, really. Oh, great. I, Except I need Billy. Fuck that. Billy. <laughs> it was good talking to y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, later, later, guys. Bye. Later. Bye. Okay, Toasty, we're still in stream, so. Yeah. Let's end this off together as we started it. Well, that was a turn of events. Um, we did not expect guests, but we got great guests that came on. Yeah, that was um, fun. I enjoyed uh, the stream tonight. I think we got out a lot of what we wanted to say. Uh, thank you, everybody, that came to watch and liked the stream, donated. Um, we both really do appreciate it. So, um, other than that, Toast, do you have anything to say? Yeah, um, those of you that have been DMing me about the Vaughn video that you wanted to watch it is now back up. I won the appeal. Suck it, Vaughn. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and do that. Um, and I think that's it.